<laughs> Welcome to Frenemies. Today, possibly more enemies than friends. I Came out the gate with the attitude. Uh, you had the attitude this morning. You didn't tell me what we were doing. I had my full glam. I had so much work to do today with my full makeup. And I was in a really pissy mood. Um, but then I had to go home and film OnlyFans. Had a big orgasm. So I feel You a did that? Better. All in that gap? I squirted and it hit the camera. I showed Moses. It, oh, it stopped dude. recording with my squirt. Like that's no how powerful way. it was. So, so did you have to? Good. Did you have to go and click like record again? Yeah. Well, I did it myself. I, he was upstairs because I was in a bad mood, and also I was just like, I'm just doing it myself. Nice. And then we had a Hanukkah How? mukbang, and I was I was miserable. I have just been miserable the whole time, and I'm still miserable because you just fucked up my whole day. And why like, did I fuck up your whole you day? Because you had bad energy, and I didn't like. Oh my it. god, you're so annoying. She I, walks in the door. I'm like, Hey, Trisha and Moses, and then she goes, You're in such a bad mood. I could tell. I was like, What the fuck? I was happy to see you. It's no, stupid. You didn't. And then you left, and then you came back, and you're like, I'm still in a bad mood because of the way you greeted me. I'm like, Okay. No, that's not Glad why. I'm not it's just because, like, no, whatever. It's what? fine. You could talk about it. Go ahead. No, get I'm it not, out in the open. Nope. I learned my lesson. It's just like, no. But anyways, I just don't, I don't appreciate just your bad energy towards me and when I didn't actually do anything. And if you had bad energy towards me, you should tell me what I did wrong rather than hold it in. I don't have bad energy. I was happy to see you. I brought Hanukkah presents. I was stoked. I was like, cool. You, your fucking brain is wired. You, I was not happy. No. You came in and you're like, I'm going to drop this shit on Ethan no matter how he greets me. You're like, he Short of this. Ethan being like, Trisha! It's Trisha, everybody! Like, I, I'm not podcast. that kind of person. Yeah, that's how you are right now. I have never greeted filming. anybody like and that like, in my life. You told Moses, I like, came hey, in. I'm just here to do a show. I'm like, he's your fucking family. Like, we should talk about it. You're like, no, because show, I'm like. not here to get in between. If, if Moses and Ela have, have a problem, problem with Moses too, and I don't have a problem with Moses. Problem. I don't. I sense it. Wait, Moses doesn't even have to tell me. He doesn't say anything, but I just know. Because okay, you're so, so you're psychic. From the beginning, from the beginning of our relationship, you're just like, wow, I'm just so disappointed. This is Moses' fault. This is Moses' thing. Like, like Literally what did didn't do? say that about anything. You, he literally what did I say said, about? What did I say about? He, you literally said that you're so pissed and it's Moses's fault. You know fault. what? Why do you always bring up family drama? Can't you just move on and talk you're about something else? You're the one who like, bring it up. I was just because you're coming here like, oh, because I'm so pissy. Energy. I don't have bad energy. My energy is pristine. I have beautiful, enlightened, perfect, radiant energy. Your energy's fucked up, girl. I talk to the hand. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. It starts December 10th this <laughs> Thursday. Um. We had some latkes just now. We ordered those. Oh, you did? We had latkes. We had chicken liver. Ew. Um, chicken liver. Yeah. And then do you know How were the latkes though? They were delicious. Are you noodle eating latkes? No, we did potatoes. We had jelly donut. Mm -hmm. I put one of these up me for my OnlyFans today. So it squirted jelly inside my... You squirted it inside you? Yeah, I was like this. Watch. And then you squirted that in your vag, mm -hmm. the juice? It went inside me and then out me. How did you squirt it out? I squirted it out. Oh, so so before you orgasm, you squirted jelly in your vag? So I pushed it up me first. The whole donut or just the jelly? Just the jelly. Okay. And then I went off and squirted it out. That doesn't sound healthy to get like a donut in your vag. I mean, I don't know, but like, can't they, can you get an infection? Mm, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. A yeasty. Do people like that when you squirt okay. like food out of your vag and shit? Well, just because it'll like color like it's pink, you know? Oh, okay. Do I have powder sugar on me? A little bit on your lips. Mm, okay. That's gnarly. That's pink. Um, anyways, I... Because you just didn't tell me. Like, I was saying, I feel like I'm a guest on the show. You didn't tell me we were doing stuff with my well, friends Well, okay, to be fair, I did tell you we were going to do this a few days ago, but you don't ever listen and you have no show involvement. Show me right now. You okay, will get $1,000 okay, okay. if you did... You, if you, you show me, I'll give you a thousand dollars. If you don't, then you give me a thousand dollars. There's no way you can. Okay, me that's fair. I mean, you've given me, you've given me money over the years. Over all the right, years. first of all, or over the months. <laughs> okay, let me scroll up because we have a private one and we have, we have um, a personal one. But let me see if I can find it. Um, as I look, I have a gift for you. Actually, I have multiple gifts for you, but your big one comes next week because it's halfway through Hanukkah. Wait, we're doing gift exchange already? I thought we would do it on Christmas because I didn't buy anything for you yet. Um. I have multiple things for you. Oh shit! Because it's I was so I you want to you want to open up the first one right now? It's my what? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Powder sugar. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like this is like a joint one. This isn't the cool one. I have a really cool one coming. Well, yeah, I'm having hurt. Okay, this looks great. Thank you so much. Well, it's like a joint gift. It's like for both of us. From you and Moses? No, it's for both of us. Why is it for both of us? It better not be some weird ass shit. 
I'm not sharing anything with you. <laughs> no, you have you, right? to because it's cool. You'll see why in a minute. I got something for you, though, like personally. It's but... an interesting odor. Oh, wow. Be careful. <laughs> Yo. Did we bring the... Yo. Oh, <laughs> this is fucking epic. <laughs> Yo, you got a blinged out Frenemies menorah? Yeah. I love it. Thanks. Thank you. That's so cool. We brought candles. Did we oh, have my candles? God. Well, we can't desecrate Hanukkah and, and not. We have to wait till Hanukkah and then we can do. Oh, we lit all eight of them today. Yep. Oh, you're going to hell. No, I'm That's kidding. Not true. They don't care. <laughs> you just don't even care about Hanukkah. There's not enough. There's only seven. So some have seven, some have eight. Oh, okay. It's. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, some because there's eight days, but sometimes <laughs> the center ones just for lighting the other ones. Right. Oh. But this one is just you don't. You don't get the center. So we can't light it. All right. Well, there you but go. But this is so amazing. I'm I'm actually really touched. That this is a really thoughtful, cool gift. I got something really cool for you, but it's not in yet. I almost brought. I would have brought it today, but I got something okay. really cool well, for I'll you. Well, I have to go. I gotta. I, no, you don't have to. Like, no, I am. I am. I was waiting for Christmas because you're. <laughs> maybe on Christmas I'll do the. Okay. I'll do because I need some time to think of something perfect. For I. That. I have a big gift giver. I love gift giving. I, and when people don't give me gifts back, I get really like annoyed, even though I don't, I pretend like I'm no, not. I, yeah, I know. I know. That's what, <laughs> but I, but I, my, always, my intention was to get you a really epic gift. I got you an epic gift, but I, okay. I don't want to say much. Is I it a Rolls Royce? No. Damn. <laughs> That's not what that I really epic. want. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, you know what I do when I want a gift? I like say it on TikTok because I know Moses has watched all my TikToks. So I'm like, I really wow, had a boyfriend that fucking... gave me <laughs> <laughs> That's some real crazy, like... And guess what? I got a diamond necklace from it. Let so. me see. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the the Star David diamond? No, this one right here. But didn't he buy that one when he was like, when you guys broke up and he was like, <laughs> no. take me back? This is a broke up. The diamond's a breakup one. He got me a hand of God when we broke Wait, up. Wait, which is the new one? This is the new one. And then he got me the hand one Damn, when you're going to be fucking up. broke, Moses. You better be careful buying her ass all these diamonds. He's been saving his money his whole life for Yeah, me. he's not going to have any when <laughs> at the end of this shit. <laughs> care of him though because you know when people give me gifts like if they go broke buying me gifts i'd take care of him you know what if I mean? you guys break up i mean hypothetically i know you don't want to think about that but would you return the jewelry to him no I wouldn't take it. oh thanks yeah no you don't return jewelry i don't know i don't buy girls jewelry i never have no i really? bought Ela. i bought Ela. but she doesn't seem like we're nah, two different girls doesn't. you know what i mean yeah i don't think i would ever survive with a girl like you definitely not no I'd get eaten alive. I Can I try one of these? You. Yeah, that's matzo really brittle. Yeah, it looks great. You can't stand what? Say it. Guys like you. Yeah, well, fuck you too. Because you're so like. I don't mind buying jewelry. I buy Ela whatever she wants. But I, but like I just the whole concept of jewelry is just kind of odd to me. I want you to want to buy me jewelry. I don't want to have to tell you I want jewelry. I like buy I buy Ela gifts. I buy Ela nice gifts. It's just she oh. doesn't like jewelry. So then that's it. That's the, yeah. That's I buy her happens. nice gifts. Moses doesn't like gifts, so like I, I don't. Got, I don't know what to get her. I'm gonna probably maybe like get like a McLaren or something for him. A McLaren? Wait, he already has a nice car. Yeah, Whoa. But... that's some sugar daddy shit right there. <laughs> a McLaren? You guys yeah. better save your money. You got a house now. I'm like killing it now that I'm do posting every day on OnlyFans. Like I was kind of like slacking, oh, really? and now I'm kind of killing it. Good, keep it up. And I got these too. These have little Star of Davids and menorahs on it. Mm. This is it. Is it? This is matzo brittle. This is everything. <laughs> See, you're in a better mood now. I'm I say that. Food. Everything? I say that. Me and Ela say that at home around every, all the time now. This is everything. Mm-hmm. We do. Wow. You look like a little boy. You look like an overgrown toddler today. Why? Because of the hat? And maybe, and the Teddy Fresh is throwing me off a little bit today. This it's not like swaggy like you normally wear. <laughs> For a grown toddler, I'll take it. As long as you don't want to fuck me. I'll do anything to be less physically attractive I to you. I literally don't even want to joke about that anymore because it makes me actually nauseous. You know what? <laughs> they have a saying in Hebrew. Ani hola aleha. Mm -hmm. You make me sick. You do? I do? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's keep it that way. Did I say it right? Ani hola aleha. Of course you know that. You guys, this relationship is so fucked up. <laughs> you know so little Hebrew, but you know you make me sick. But it actually means like sick and love. But you can also say like, oh, you make me sick. That's what he told me. That's the way you express it. I'm Anyways. Get away from the mic. Let me ask you a question. Why? It's ASMR. Okay. Uh, I kind of love it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was going to say we should talk about YouTube, but I was going to say I like talking about me more. Well, let's talk about you. Let's move on. How's your week been? Um, It's been really great. A lot of people have been getting COVID this week, so oh, I'm yeah. sure, like, everyone I see, I only see, like, five people, but they all got COVID tested. They just get COVID tested anyways for me, but everyone I know has been getting it. Ian got COVID. I saw that, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
No, but same thing happened with one of my really close friends. Like, doesn't see anyone got it, mm. and so I was, I was a little paranoid. Everyone's been getting it. I was just like, but, but we're. And you know what's crazy? Good. What? Not to talk about COVID because people are overhearing yeah. about it on the show. Mm -hmm. But in California, we're like ninety five percent full of the hospitals. Like From it, that, it's bad. Wear a mask. Wear a mask, people. Okay, let's talk. Our the main thrust of our episode here today is we're going to be trying celebrity beauty treatments. Okay. And this, some of the shit that these celebrities do is weird as hell. Did you get the foreskin? <laughs> we, you know what? I made a conscious decision not to do that because I don't support the harvesting of children's foreskin. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's just weird that they have like foreskin factories where they farm it. You couldn't get adult foreskin? See, that's... You couldn't claim that that was uncru uncruelly harvested. But at least the babies, they have like farms where the baby's foreskins grow like super long. They're like mutated humans. Ew. And they farm the foreskins. It's like super inhumane. What did you do with Theodore's foreskin? I think they just threw it out. I'd probably eat my own son's. Why would you eat it? It does something for you. I forget what. It makes you a freak forever. Yeah, the placenta some women eat, not the foreskin for Christ's sake. What in God's name? Or I put it on my face. Wait, what do they do with the foreskin? They, they put it. They they put it into a cream. Yeah. I put it on my son's face. I put on his face. That's so <laughs> cruel. That's like <laughs> this is so sick. All right, let's talk. Let's. Switch I really do enjoy doing this podcast, but like you just pissed me off like so much because you just everything just didn't tell me. You know, just everything pissed me off this morning. Just tell me when we're doing stuff. Like, I feel like you're just, things are just pissing you off. I don't think it has no, to do with me. No, but I have full me. hair and makeup. Like, I'm a full-time porn and star. I'm a full-time TikToker. I'm a full-time, like, other things that I got to do after this. And now I can't do any of it, which is fine. We, we already went home and did all of it. But just tell me Yeah, you came and I was like, oh, well, you want to go home and do it? And then you came back and now we're going to do oh this Oh, my God, shit. 30 minutes home, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes home. Like, we wasted an hour and a half just driving here today. Well, shit happens, Trisha. I mean, what the fuck? I did tell you, by the way, which okay, I well wait find it. I don't have time because I gotta look. But like, come on, we're trying to do a show here, not fucking prove Trisha wrong. Episode. Did we say it was sponsored by Adam and Eve? We don't have to say that. Oh, sponsored by Adam and Eve. Thank you. Use code H three. Use code H three. Exactly. Okay, so you died on Twitter, apparently. What was that about? That was when I was here. Rip. I, like, missed all of it because I was here during the podcast. Hashtag Rip Trisha was trending. I don't get it though. Was it Rip Trisha? Was like something, or is it R I P Trisha? It was R.I.P. Trisha. I didn't get it. I, I like missed all of it. I was like, what? I think people were just goofing that you died. I don't know what was the origin of it. I have no idea. I love it, though. Honestly, if I there's a death hoax about me, like, I like being relevant. Like, I Well, it's know. interesting that people cared enough about you to kill you. <laughs> Do you know what was awful, though? It's like literally all the tweets were like, ha ha, thank God that bitch is dead. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was really sad. It, like, kind of depressed me. Well, but it's got to feel good in a way that, like. You would even be trending if you that's died. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, that's Because you, cool. you seem to be obsessed with your death and like how it will impact the world. So. For sure. For sure that. I keep saying I don't want my, I have a, a girl that really hates me online and I think she'll probably be the one to murder me. And, I'm, and I told <laughs> Moses how sucky it's going to be that she's going to be part of my life story forever. So if they make a movie about me, that girl gets to be tied in with me. This girl. You that better I, protect yourself. You're, why you keep willing this girl to kill you? Just stop talking. She's about to come. You're like, come. don't kill me. She's coming around. She's so <laughs> Don't kill scary. me. You can be part of my life story. <laughs> Like you want Yolanda her to kill you. With Selena, like Yolanda and You Selena literally Selena. want her to kill you. I do not. Wow. You feel trapped in this relationship, don't you? You're like begging for someone to murder you? No, actually, I've never been more in love. And we have sex so much now again. And it's oh, you're so back great. On, you're back on? Yeah, good. it's good. I'm happy. I like just like being bent over the couch and getting railed because he thrusts so hard. Oh, you're a hard thruster? Wow. I'm like, because my bed is so soft, so he doesn't thrust as hard. But now that we've been doing it over the couch, I'm like, oh, this is good. So like, I get so horny. Excellent. All the time. <laughs> Excellent. It's been good. I've been so happy. I'm happy here. for you. I'm sitting. I'm not. I'm do you do that? Do you just like bend you over and rail her on the couch? <laughs> Be honest. Uh, maybe at one point a while ago, but there's no railing or there's no railroading or anything like that. I feel like, like she would days. like. I shouldn't talk about the podcast. I don't know if we're talking about the podcast, but I I think she would like it because she's so boss babe, right? She's so like mm -hmm. independent, like controls everything. Like, you know, that's how I am. So sometimes you like to just have no control over how hard you're getting pounded. I will pass that feedback to her and see how she, and see if she, see what she's up for. I bet she's a submissive because usually people who are so dominant and independent in real life, there are subs in, in yeah, the Yeah, she's more submissive in the bedroom. Mm. You, know they, you, know, <laughs> you know what they... Do you know... 
I like to role play like <laughs> I'm Moses' high school girlfriend. So we do like Hebrew. Like we speak like Hebrew. I'm like, what would you say like during sex in Hebrew? And it's like, can, can, odd, odd, And can, odd, 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 odd. That doesn't sound very romantic. <laughs> odd, odd. Ode. Ode. I think you said odd. Or ode. Odd. Ode, 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 It's like, what the fuck he you say? He won't do it. Like, I'll be like, talk to me like, like you talk to your high school girlfriend in Hebrew and he like laughs Why won't you do that? It's too funny. He says it's, he says it's too funny. But I'm like, I like to like, you know, be like, he'll, he'll do it. But then he like laughs. He's like, oh, like, let's go upstairs. You know, here, I, have a, I have a role play <laughs> idea for you guys. You're a Mossad agent and she's from Hamas. You like that? What's Hamas? They're the terrorists in Palestine. You cannot make Palestine jokes. I had to delete my TikTok because people were so offended by my Palestine joke. <laughs> I have that in here. We can talk about it. Oh, but you that did? would be that would be a fun role play. Mossad is like the CIA in Israel. Uh huh. And then you would be like a terror, like a Palestinian terrorist. Do you have to like grow my bush out to be hairy like a beard? Ask him. It's your guys' fantasy. <laughs> I like that. I love a little Hebrew role play. Are you into that, Moses? Anything for you, he says. Okay, let's No, our on. relationship is like bomb right now. Like, it actually has never been better. Someone wrote an obituary. Did you know that you have an obituary? No, really? Trisha Paytas <laughs> was American media personality, model, actress, and singer. Paytas' sister has said she began experiencing signs of mental illness. Her mother, Lena Paytas, said her daughter died of the novel coronavirus. Oh, my God. I'm dying of COVID? That's June 11th. Intense. You died at 32 years. Wait, at- June 11th, but it just happened this past week. The car uh, you died before that. Oh. From, from, um. Uh, Corona? Corona. Damn. Notable YouTubers showed their grievances. Ooh. Shane Dawson. Oh, okay. Fiance Ry- Ryland Adams said, my thoughts are with her family during this difficult time. Even ex-boyfriend Jason Nash says, I can't even bring myself <laughs> to understand she's not here anymore. <laughs> Literally would be so happy that I stopped talking about him. <laughs> Paid his sister and mother asked for strength and guidance during these times. And they're having a candlelight vigil, which will be held at St. Francis of Rome Catholic Church in Wild- Wildemar. You That's know that place? Church. Paytas is survived by her mother, her dad, Jesus. her sister, and her brother. I didn't know you have a brother. I do have a brother. He never likes me to mention him, period. Oh, well, we fucked up. <laughs> Really? What does he do? Because he he's really, so mysterious. He has like a, yeah, he has a pretty bougie job, but I can't say it. Really? He literally would kill me. Yeah. Not, okay. He wouldn't kill me literally, but hmm. he has a very high end, jo- high profile job. Good for him. Yeah. He kills it. That's not much of an obituary. You, I think you'd be pissed by that. Like they didn't do. Well, like, yeah. That's some bullshit. It promoted St. Francis of Rome, though. That's my dad's church that he like speaks at. Um. Let's see. The Dixie's, Dixie's new song you maimed on. Oh, it's going to get clean, but it basically goes. One day, uh, one day, I, I was really, 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 really sad. sad. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, it's kind of a bop. Moses was singing it the other day. He's like, I can't get it out of my head. It's been stuck in my head because <laughs> everyone on TikTok's making fun of it. It's every, that's so smart though. Like, low key, I feel like they wanted to that to happen. Mm. Making fun of how bad it is. Mm, I can't get over that matzo. It's so good. So good. Oh, well, I'm glad we brought it. The thing is, though, if she wanted it to be bad, why did she erase her trailer in disgrace? No, I think they, I think, I think, I don't think they wanted it to, but if they were smart, they'd be like, oh shit, everyone's listening to this song. Cause the mom went on Instagram live and was like, how dare you guys do this? <laughs> I'm like, first of all, she's 19. Yeah, she's like, 19 <laughs> and she's on TikTok. Of course, everyone's going to clown on her. Yeah. One day, one day, I was really, 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 really sad. sad. Yeah. That good. is a bop. I like it. I mean, it conveys a lot. Yeah. Sadness for one. One day. One day. Beat depression in one day. One specific day. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Just one day. You're <laughs> one sad. day. Okay, so there was that. <laughs> the notes. So here's the Israeli-Palestine conflict summarized by Trisha. <laughs> Wait, you erased it because this is a link to your TikTok. Um, I think I put it back up. I asked Moses if it was okay if I put it back up. I didn't want to embarrass him further. Okay, here it is. So the caption is, when you take your boyfriend's <laughs> Israeli identity and all the comments are free Palestine, and you're just trying to figure out where Palestine even is and why it needs to be freed. I mean, it's funny how you willing have. you are to be ignorant. But it's true. They always say free Palestine. I'm like, I, I swear when I met him, I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, what is Palestine? Like, I had no idea. I think it's the way that you do it is like, trip. you're making fun of them. 
literally no it yeah, literally is are. what i know because i don't even know what it's about i watched zohan and i was like i don't understand this like well, zohan is, is not a documentary but it is about palestine versus israel do you did you tell her anything about it moses <laughs> Come on. Well, we don't. Do you talk want me to about tell politics. you a little bit? I'll no, get, I, I can give you in a nutshell. I get it. I get it. Well, people always get mad at me because they go, "Oh, you make fun of her because she's ignorant," and then you don't explain it to her. Oh, so now you're gonna educate me on it? I can give you in a nutshell. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, here we go. So before the there before there was a mass immigration of Jews from Europe and around the world to Israel, mm -hmm. there was the Palestinians lived there, more or less. This is very simplified. And then the Jews bought up a ton of land and moved them and just kind of forced them in a lot of ways down into the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Mm. Some people consider all of Israel Palestine, uh, <laughs> but it's like traditionally Palestine. I mean, it is, if you go back in a map, it was used to be called Palestine, Palestinian territory. So if I go to Israel, I can walk into Palestine? Well, Palestine is not is kind of, it's not, Palestine and Israel is kind of a name for the same place. So everything is, so Jaffa is Palestine. Yeah, if you ask a Palestinian, they'll say it's Palestine. So he could say he's Palestinian. No, because he's not Arab. He's not Palestinian. Only Arabs believe that. Well, Palestinian is a group of people, like Jews is a group of people. So Palestinians mm -hmm. are, are Arabs who come from that region. Uh, you know, their their lineage and their heritage, and they're they're from that region. But they they're living in Gaza Strip, which is like a really horrible place to live, and uh, they're like boxed in this tiny bit of land that Israel owns. And uh, it's fucking horrible to live there. So they're not like walking around Tel Aviv. No. Well, some of our yeah no. There's there's a lot of Arab um, uh, Israeli uh, dual citizens. I don't want them to be mad. Honestly, like I really don't. I thought it was a joke because like honestly, where I was coming from is like I don't even know where Palestine is. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't it's kind of complicated, but. <laughs> well. But but Palestine, uh, there's a lot of you know. The Israelis do a lot of fucked up shit there, mm -hmm. like stealing their land, encroaching on their land all the time. They're like Christopher Columbus. Yeah, they're like Christopher Columbus light, I would say, because they have to deal with like PR where Christopher <laughs> Columbus was like, fuck these Indians, dude. <laughs> He's out there with like polio and fucking weed whackers. He's like, nobody Aww. gives a shit. So, yeah, they're kind of like Christopher Columbus light. How did I do, Dan? Did I do OK? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to piss anyone off here. No. I'm just trying to eat matzo brittle. It's Hanukkah, so we can't piss them off. But obviously, um, that's why they get sensitive, because they think it's like a genocide. Like a Palestinian genocide. Oh, happening Apart now? Or slash apartheid. Happening now. Yeah. Right. I apologize. I think my joke was funny. I think it's a joke. It's TikTok. I thought it was funny. Thanks. But it's more a joke about how ignorant you are, not about the Palestinian yeah, people. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Yeah. Like, oh my God, look at this dumb bitch. <laughs> Which I'm not dumb. I just like, who knows? No one is taught Israeli versus Palestine. I feel like so. the vast majority of people know what Palestine is. That's not true. What? That's not true. Why is it not true? Because like, we are talking about how he didn't learn about US history. We don't learn about Israeli history. Yeah, but Palis Palestinian, the whole Jew, mm -hmm. the Israel-Palestinian conflict is like one, if not the most, like globally, rel like globally forefront conflict in the world it's like everybody knows about that conflict mm. who do you think that it, right i don't think so no. i don't know do you honestly. agree with me dan we're all jewish so it's hard i, I don't know you we're know, all jewish no i mean yeah it's like i mean you guys are arab so right. oh oh my god we're both arabs you're palestinian then they're not palestinian you guys you are just Lebanese, said right? arabs are palestinian not every arab is palestinian that's ridiculous there's you're tons of countries in in the middle east <gasps> Ooh, I feel some tension now. We got some Jews, we got some Arabs, and we got some Christians. <laughs> you just described uh, Jerusalem. This is every... Whoa! So does that mean you're Muslim? Arab is Muslim? Yeah. Well, no, no. Not all of them. <laughs> but you are. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. No, I love it. I, I was just saying I want to interview a Muslim. Like, I don't know Muslims. Like, what do you, Ask them anything. We got them right here. Well, they can't hear them. I feel like we need to have them on as a guest. Here, can let's say you... you this will be like great. Muslim. But there you go. That's fucking crazy. Do you guys mind being interviewed? Yeah, I don't mind. Wait, Trish, are you two? Let's. Yeah, but he, he can 
Let's 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 oh. learn from an Arab here, Dan. Pass off the mic. We're going impromptu, Dan baby. Dan this. He's like, fuck. I feel like Dan just hates frenemies all the time. He's like over it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Dan's always like, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Well, H3 goes for <laughs> yeah. three and a half hours. <laughs> oh my no, 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 no. You got to follow. You got to follow what's good. Dude, whenever we have a chance to educate Trisha, we have to take it. So here we have AB with us, our resident uh, Arab. Muslim. Slash Muslim. Hello. Thank you for being here. Can I ask you the first question? Yes. <laughs> so Trisha says, when you sat down, she's like, you're really Arab? That's so trippy. How does oh. that make you feel? <laughs> because I know Trisha, it doesn't bother me. No. Trisha, Trisha's... But is it odd that... So I get a pass to ask... But is it odd being treated like an oddity? I mean, you're just like a normal American dude. Um, uh, no, because I'm kind of used to it. Growing up, 9-11 uh, happened when I was like in second grade. So I heard it a lot like growing up. And was it because like how you looked or your name? Is my name. What's your name, your full name? Can you say it or no? Yeah, I can say it. Abdallah. Abdallah. Yeah. And. It's pretty good. I have a, this is like a question because I'm genuinely, you're on social media. Well, you're here now on here. Yeah. Like, and you're not scared of getting like killed. Like on 90 Jesus. Day Fiance. No, because like on 90 Day Fiance, Azin could get killed for having social media. He's in Jordan. Oh, you're saying because I'm Muslim? Yeah. You're not going oh. to be on social media and stuff. Well, in, right. Well, okay, I'll let you take yeah, that no, one. That, that's, <laughs> no, there's always like a, a lot of like uh, bullshit that goes around about being Muslim. It's not as scary or as uh, extreme as a lot of people make it. It's just like any other re religion. There's extremes, you know, in Christianity or oh right. You know, but in, it is. if you're in Jordan, it's way different. He's in America. You and your girlfriend are both Americans. That uh, are Muslim. They're not even Jordanese. They're Lebanese. Oh. That's yeah. different. Yeah. So they're not in that country and they're not even of that country. Okay. You know can what you I mean? date a non-Muslim? I know you're dating a Muslim, but can you date a non-Muslim? Uh, me personally, I don't mind, but uh, like my dad's side of the family would mind. They prefer if you. Muslim. How much would they mind? Um, like my, my parents are more liberal, but like my uh, aunts and uncles, they would... They, they don't only want, like, a Muslim. They want, like, the same village, the same... Oh, shit. Sect. Whoa. Yeah, they prefer same sect of Islam. Like That's pretty... <laughs> what if everyone from that village is just kind of, like, busted? Yeah, there's some villages like that. Are you guys from <laughs> the same village? Uh, no, we're not. But... And I noticed... Close and, enough? Cl close enough. <laughs> <laughs> they get along. <laughs> well, because I, I... Okay, she said you could answer for her, too. But, like, I noticed she doesn't wear a, a head thing. And on Muslim TikTok, everybody wears a head wrap. And if mm. you don't... It's a like, head wrap? Yeah. Or hijab. <laughs> yeah. So that's another, uh, like, common misconception. Like, my uncle, he's very religious, and he taught me everything I know about uh, Islam. And uh, it comes from an older text, and the word is, uh, it's like an ancient word. Like, the book, our holy book is very old, and it's not supposed to be changed at all. So there's a lot of uh, misconceptions, misinterpretations. So, um, like, me, like, I believe it just means that a woman is supposed to, like, dress modestly. Um, oh. Where some people think it's just covering the hair, some think it's just you know showing the eyes. It's just whatever the interpretation is. So she shows cleave, not into it. Uh, no, I don't mind. But <laughs> Do you, would you uh. show cleavage? You would show cleavage. Uh, no comment. No oh, comment. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> we got no But would you wear a bikini? Yeah. Yeah, she wore a bikini. Lena, wore a bikini. Lena used to model. Yeah. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, a Muslim model. <laughs> you said you used to model. You would think that'd be against it. I did some pageants. That's all. Some what? Only fans? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. It's an awful joke. Oh my god, that's so interesting. <laughs> what about like Mia, Mia Khalifa? She's Muslim, no? Okay, dude, being Muslim is like a huge swath okay, okay. Back to of people. It's like, you have to understand, there's <gasps> like... Is this Arabic? Yes. Whoa! What's it say? Um, the translation is basically, keep moving forward. Can you say it in Arabic? She can. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, we can't say it. Okay, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so you don't, you don't you don't know how to speak Arabic? Not well, no. I know how to swear pretty much. Love and, that. And say hello. Oh, uh, Shamuta. Shamuta, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I've dated all the cultures. <laughs> but you understand that like being a Muslim or being an Arab is like a huge swath of like, as, as diverse as being like a, a Christian or a Jew. There's people like, obviously he's very secular. But Muslims are known to be like, Heart, like 90 Day Fiance, every Muslim on there is like, you'll You're die. They're in Jordan. They're in Jordan. Okay, don't you understand? Even here, like they're very hardcore. They cover you their don't, head. You don't, this is the first Muslim you've ever, or Arab you've ever met in your life. You just said that. Why? Yeah, but, that's true. Yeah. Wow. Right. Are you scared of anything? Like the, Are you scared of anything? Like them coming for you for anything? Who's, Co who's uh, coming for him? The Illuminati? <laughs> No, your family, because it's the family that like has hate on hate. If you're, if you're, what do you think happens? He gets stoned, maybe. 
I mean, that he literally said, we watched 90 Day Fiance. He literally said, they will kill you. My dad will literally kill him for being on the show. Like I said, yeah, just extremes and everything. Everyone I know, like... No extremities. Like, where I come from, my hometown has the highest uh, population of Muslims outside, um, I mean, in the U.S. Right. So, and, like, all my friends, they're all a bunch of uh, degenerates. They smoke, drink, party. And they're Muslims? Yeah, Muslims, yeah. Oh, so you only hang out with Muslims? No. No, we don't really see race where I'm from. Like, we have a lot of... We hang out with a lot of... uh, Everybody. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Well, that's so interesting, though. I always find it interesting how Jews do hang out with Jews, Muslims hang out with Muslims, Israelis meet Israelis. You know what I mean? Like, it is kind of weird how that all happens, but I think that's interesting because he said he has Muslim friends. I've never met Muslims, so you know what I mean? Like, it's interesting how they all find each other and gravitate. Are you scared? What do you think? Did you, what do you think? Where are you going? I'm so impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm so, because you have tattoos. Right. You have a girlfriend. I just, I watch. Wife. Wife. Yeah. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Oh, you're 28. Yeah. I have three wives. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't believe in that? But you, that's a thing because Soldier Boy he, on 90 Day Fiance, he could have no multiple Mormons wives. No do that, too. Are you not going to do that? Well, that's another one of those things that we think is, like, open to interpretation. Like, when the book was first made, it was, like, during a time of war. Um, families couldn't provide. It, there's a lot more to it than that. Mm. But I don't think it was meant for, like, modern day. You're not about marrying with multiple women. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all for it, but I don't think my wife <laughs> would be okay Oh, you're it. not for it. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh like, she says he's kidding, but he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm all for it. I kind of like the idea of multiple wives. Like, I kind of wish most Mo- you like Muslim. that. Mm-hmm. Moses, thoughts? I'm good for more wives. He'll, he'll, oh. <laughs> all right, come First on. First of all, that was a test. So let's, let's move on. It, so, bye. Yeah. All right, we can um, do this all day. Anyways, Thank this you, is AB. Very exciting. No Congrats. That's so exciting. Congrats on what? He made it uh, out alive, I guess. Out of where? I made it, guys. He was born in America. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. They both don't look Muslim to me, so that's why I thought that was so interesting. What is a Muslim supposed to look like? I'll show you on TikTok. They wear the hijabs. I wanted to wear he has a he has a Muslim scarf at home, but he won't let me wear it. Well he lets me wear it, but Do you understand they're Jordanian? And who's America? Okay, but there's Nigerian Muslims. There's Mm -hmm. like so many different Muslims, so Lebanese Muslims too are from that same area. It's Israel, Lebanon. Different country. But it's that same sector of the Middle East. So Saudi Arabian Muslims are the same as, let's say, Indonesian Muslims? Mm. I'm asking you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I love my Saudi fans. I have a lot of people from Saudi. You do? Yeah, for real. They come to my show. Awesome. They have money. They always have VIPs. Can we get... All right, let's let's get on with it. What if a sheik asked me to go over to Saudi Arabia? Do you think I should do it? I've had it happen before. What's the price? I once got offered legitimately 50000 They were going to wire it beforehand. Yes. No, to fly you over. You have to sex f- with a sheik? Yeah, but they'll never let you leave. They're like, they can fucking hold you prisoner. Those guys are crazy. They have like slaves in Saudi but I Arabia. Think they would know if I was missing. Someone would be like, oh, she went to go see a sheik and now she's missing. Yeah, but what, who's gonna what, who's gonna go in there and take you back? It's like, I have an Israeli boyfriend. Sorry, yo. Um, He's like the Zohan. Zohan ain't getting your ass <laughs> out of fucking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Aw, okay, maybe I won't go. You'll be in a fucking cage, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so extreme. Jesus. I'm just saying, dude. These these sheiks and these people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia, they bring girls over and they literally turn them into sex slaves. That sucks. 50K. Like it really does. No, I'm being serious. Like I don't want people to get <laughs> laughing. That's so crazy. Yeah, it does suck. I like, know that would seriously suck so bad. So bad. All right. Anyway, that Thank was. Thank you. Maybe I appreciate that. Oh, you got here. This was fun. You got backlash for your last mukbang you made because some homeless person asked for food. Oh my god! And you <laughs> you drove off. Speaking it was of awesome. sex trafficking and sex slaves, this is exact. We were almost sex trafficked, and everyone's like, "Wow, you wouldn't give them food." Sex trafficked. It was okay. one solitary person no. asking for food. There was two men in the back seat and a man oh, next there was? to her. She's in a car. She says, "I'm from Hawaii, I, but I have money. I'll pay you back. But can you give us food?" In a car next to us. Doesn't say she's a fan or anything. It was just like. And then as soon as I said, can you wait till we're done eating? Because I'm trying to get out of the situation. She goes to back up her car to back us in. There's two guys on either side. There's a guy in the front and then a guy in the back. So there's two guys total and her. She's like, oh, I'm from Hawaii. 20 minutes prior, another guy on camera is like, hey, I'm from Hawaii. You want want a boyfriend? Want to hang out with me? And it was just all really sus. And then she says she's from out of town, doesn't have money. How did you get here, bitch? Second of all, she's like, oh, can you give us some food? I'm not broke, but I'll pay you back. Okay, what? Okay, can I stop you? I feel like you're embellishing based on this video. I'm embellishing what? Here, let's watch the video. Okay. She goes are eating some one. bullshit. I don't love, I don't love that. Hi. 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 No, you're good. No worries. Hi. 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 H
stories? <laughs> Here, credit cards aren't working. God bless. You know, grifters always go, God bless. She's in a car. She's not even a drifter. She's in a car. <laughs> she is. You'll see it back up. <laughs> I'm not poor. I can't eat my meat. I'm not poor. I'll pay you back on Monday. Well, we don't really have any cash or anything. I'm putting my seat up because I'm nervous. So I can drive away. Um, okay, can we finish eating? I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Bye. What do we do? Can you, can you? I find it interesting that you didn't remove this part. Why'd you leave it in? Because later on we talk about it for, for oh, this okay. very reason. Okay. Don't ever roll it down your window. You know what? Even if you're a fan, I will never roll it down my window again. Don't roll down your window for anyone. If you're uncomfortable, don't give someone food. The minute you reach out an arm, is the minute they can grab you. They can Done. kidnap you. I got kidnapped. I didn't get kidnapped. I got held ransom at Mexico. True story. I would never talk about this for this very reason. There was a resort opening two. two you years have ago. way too many stories. You got I, held ransom in Mexico. Swear. Tell me everything. Life, but I, I don't like to give people ideas because this is what's so fucking. Don't scary. go to Mexico. I'm not. I'm I've done never going to Mexico. Mexico. Oh, yeah. Never. Yeah, I'll never. But I was posting for this resort, and you know what? It's a chain hotel. It was a big chain hotel. They invited you there? Yeah. Nobody was there, right? And the someone fucking ransomed your ass? What city were you in? We were in, like, next to, right next to the Cabo one. Is it, is it called, not Cabo. Cosmo. Cosmo? Cosmo? Is it? I don't know. No. It's, like, a big oh. one. It's, like, one where they have resorts. Puerto Vallarta. Not Puerto Vallarta, but it's one with the sea, so it might have been Cosmo. Not Cabo. 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 Not Cabo. It's, okay, whatever. You were in Mexico. <laughs> No, maybe it was Cabo. Anyways. <laughs> okay, it's in Cabo. And it was, and we were going to the van from the hotel that the hotel was going to provide us back to the airport. Mm -hmm. So I'm posting for them. They're like, hey, we'll give you like a free stay. Like come post for us. So I'm posting, right? And so obviously people are seeing like my Instagram and they saw that I just bought a Lamborghini, like all this stuff. So mm -hmm. they're seeing like all this stuff. And it was so weird. Nobody else was at this resort. Nobody. There was construction going mm. on. The food was like frozen pizza. Do you think they, they set us. you up? Frozen pizza? Literally frozen the pizza. Fuck? And we, Did, was it good? Huh? Was the pizza good? No, it was all horrible. It was really, really bad. And I don't really like to share the story because I just don't like to give like the details of it because it's honestly, it was honestly the most like the scariest thing in my life. But we were held at gunpoint to get money. They needed us to get money out, and I couldn't get the transfer. They wanted like they wanted like a hundred thousand dollars, and I couldn't do it. And then they they wanted me to get out at the ATM first of all, and I was like, okay, there's no way. Obviously I'm gonna get, not. I'm not yeah. gonna get that. They're like, get twenty thousand out of the ATM. I'm like, I have to physically go inside and get the money. So we ended up wiring the money like it was so scary they literally like left us on a ditch they had like literally a gun to my head like i i just don't really like like i literally don't i like can't believe you never talked about you never talked about this i don't like giving people ideas i don't like like i i'm very paranoid for this reason and anytime you watch my mukbang you'll see people are like she's super paranoid there's clips of me like jutting out when i see anyone come out of their car towards my car i'll jut out whatever even if it's not for me i'm ultra ultra paranoid because of this happening and this happened another time i got held at a gunpoint in my house and it was the same thing where it like they did i'm like take whatever take whatever and they were like no you have to wire me money so there's two times that i was held what is that for ransom i don't know what that is but it was to and, robbery so my dad too yeah. my dad has money and people know this like he sold his company for a shit ton of money really like, your dad's ago. rich so huh. my dad has money and they were like you so the same thing had happened to me when i was younger like when i lived with him like 19 and it's happened so many times and I was in a pink Rolls Royce and yes, it's flashy, whatever, say what you want. It's like, oh, you're in an expensive car. What do you expect people are going to, and it's true, but that's such a target. People obviously, obviously know I have money. This is a girl and a thing, whatever. There's so many things that the moment I know, the moment you put yourself in a vulnerable situation, one time me extending my fucking hand when I worked at Hooters on Hollywood Boulevard was the cause of fucking someone raping me on Hollywood Boulevard and the cops didn't do shit about it. Like it's because you know why I gave someone, I extended someone money because I thought that was the thing to do. Don't fucking do that thing. And don't ever listen to people being like, oh, like you should have done this what a bitch like fuck you like I'm a female my, my mom's 60 in the back my sister's right in this seat the only reason I put my window down is I felt a little safer with my mom and sister in the car if it was just me by myself I would have like booked it out of there and honestly I should have and mm -hmm. as soon as I saw her backing up and backing in you'll see I kind of swerved out to kind of get out because she was backing us in mm, fuck that shit that. I was that's such, that's just bullshit. This Wait, summer, so, this for so, my birthday this year, I gave thirty two thousand dollars away, ten thousand dollars to my followers. Like I, I am like the least selfless person, but I'm I'm definitely. You come up to my car, like fuck you. Wait, can I ask you about this? So, do you think they set you up when you went to that resort to rob you? I don't know if they set me up or someone just saw that I was posting a lot and they knew where I was. So mm. they're like, oh, this girl has money. Like I, I don't know. Mexico is really unsafe right now. I would not encourage anybody I'll to go there go right back. now. I'll never go back to Mexico. Yeah, me and, me and Ely used to go there all the time, and we had really sketchy experiences, and we stopped going. Yeah. Where would you guys go? We've been all over the place. My parents lived there for, like, five years, and back then it was, like, much safer. And I feel like since the rise of the cartel there, things have just become more lawless and 
What happened with you guys? Was the sketchy? <clears throat> well, I was just super paranoid. Like we would go to resorts and I felt like people were following us and and like because I would post on social media, like you said, and I'd be yeah. like, oh fuck, you know, people are gonna <laughs> because people get people get kidnapped there all the time. Yeah. Um where my parents were living, they moved there was like a fucking straight up gang war with grenades and like automatic rifles. There was like grenade explosions and holes in the wall everywhere. My parents bounced. After that happened. And like, even at the airport, like I brought my drone because I was going to vlog and they fucking, they go, you cannot enter Mexico unless you pay me sales tax on this drone. Yeah. And he was like on some crazy bullshit thing telling me that my drone cost three times more than it did and was trying to charge me a thousand dollars. Did you pay it? I had to. Yeah. I got arrested for bringing my camera. I was, was vlogging was insane. The thing and they arrested me and then they told me the same thing. They're like, you have to pay us money if you want to get it was a, this. It was just a straight up. He just pocketed that money for sure. He's like, it's the law. I was like, show me the law. I looked up at like the the Mexican laws for coming. I was like, there's no fucking law that yeah. says this. He's like, dude, you gotta go. You have to leave or pay me. I was like, all right, fucker. I'm it's, never coming back to your shit exactly. country. Exactly, and you should be paranoid for that reason. And I'm so fucking tired of people like judging people for feeling uncomfortable. Like anytime you feel uncomfortable, don't fucking do that. Actually, shit, I shouldn't like. call it a shit country because I love Mexico and Mexican mm -hmm. people and the culture and the food and everything. It's so vibrant, and beautiful, and I love being there. It's just a shame that. It's uh, become so corrupt and lawless, and it's just, it's tough. It's so scary. It's so, so scary. But that that's crazy. So he, so you were outside the resort, and then he. We were like, going back to the, 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 um, the, what is it called? Airport. airport. Oh, you like, were, on, you were leaving. Mm -hmm. And you grabbed a taxi. No, we took the van from the hotel. And that's the guy who kidnapped you? Mm -hmm. Oh, they must have been on, on it. I think so, because they didn't help us the whole time we were there, like. Um, another incident. Did in the, you report it to the police or anything? Um, when we got back, we reported it because it's a chain hotel and mm -hmm. we reported it to the chain hotel and they, literally nobody cared. Like no one said anything. Did you tell the social media person who told you to come there? Never responded. Huh? The resort is still there too. You could probably sue them because they're probably an international it's company. It's a big company, I know. It, it was so scary, honestly. Like it just felt like even now talking about it, I literally still feel like, like. So what happened in the car? You got in the car. The guy's driving. When did you know there was something wrong? Almost immediately. He's like, do you guys have cash on you? And we're like, no. And then he's like, well, you need to go and take out $100,000 from ATM. Oh, immediately he was like. Yeah, and then we fucked. saw we were going off the path. Like, because where we were, it wasn't, it's like Los Cabos or something. So I stayed there before at this place called Resort at Pedregal. So it's like in that area. But this was like a little bit off from that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it was a resort. And so he went off like the beaten path, like, you know, and I was just like, fuck. And it just felt bad right away. And I was like, I, I can't get $100,000 out of ATM. And then he asked me to take $10,000. I'm like, I got to go inside to get that. And he wouldn't let me go get it. So we did a wire. You went in the bank and did a wire? I didn't go in. I did it from my phone. Really? You can do that? Yeah. And he got it immediately? <sighs> well, he got it and then he took my ID and he took like... I think I had like, I don't know if I had a check. I took everything. Like he had all my cards and stuff like that. He had all my address, like everything. So I, I don't like talking about oh, this, God. honestly. Like I got phone calls after harassing me, being like, um, we're going to like cut your head off, like all this crazy shit. Asking for more money. Mm -hmm. What? And so it's just like, and I don't like talking about it because I know people are like, oh, Trisha trolls and all this stuff. So it's like, I like, I don't like talking about it. But like, that's the reason I'm like so paranoid. And like earlier this year, someone came into my house, like while I was showering and like, it was like, a very similar situation. It was very eerie. It wasn't, I didn't have to do with the stalker or whatever. It was like the, a very similar situation and it scared the shit out of me. Like, you've been in a lot the, of scary situations. I've never been in any situation I think like the that. The person literally broke in to scare me because he didn't take anything and it was so terrifying. And mm. like, um, like anytime I feel like uncomfortable in any situation, I just like leave now. It's like, and I should have because every single time, like when I've like, I was raped twice on Hollywood Boulevard and it was both times when I was giving someone something, I put my hand out and that's when they like were able to like, it was bad. Um, I don't think you should ever give anything out. Homeless people, they'll use kids as a tactic. I've had that happen where someone literally used a child and the child was like, I need money. And then that's when they came out from behind at my gate at Hollywood and Highland. Before there was like the condos there, there was a Burger King and it happened right in the back, the back lot of that. And there was a kid there and like he wanted the money. And then that's when the guys came out and like mugged me, raped me, all that shit. And I was just like, it's crazy. And the fact that people like, are even putting that out there. Shame on them. Like, Pres Hilton on TikTok being like, oh, wow, you should have given them money. Like, given them food. Like, 
fuck off. Like, seriously, fuck off. Like, it's so fucking annoying that that's like the, like, that's what people are putting out there. Like, don't ever roll down your windows. Don't ever give people shit. Mm. Homeless people included. Homeless people are, will, are fucking crazy too. Like, I'm sorry you're in that situation, but I'm not going to put my, like, you my. Could just give money to a food bank. You don't have to give people, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. I gave, just, I gave funny to COVID relief, Doctors Without Borders, like trans equality, like for people to take trans people off the street. I donate. I do that. You know, it's just, it's fucked. It's fucked up. It pisses me off to no end. And I left that in because afterwards I said like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I wouldn't leave it in if I thought it looked bad. Like, I would have edited it out. But I was like, and I'm yeah. so glad it blew up because I want more people to know that, like, not to say we're being such traffic growth and we're past that age, but that's exactly what happens. People leave a little flyer out there. People say, oh, like an injury, you know, try to run into your car. Like, all this bullshit. Mm. If, you, if, you, if someone runs into your car trying to act like you hit them, go to the police. Like, just dr- call the police and be like, this person says I hit him. I didn't, but I'm going to drive because I don't feel comfortable getting out because mm-hmm. that happens at night. Mm-hmm. I had a guy literally run into my car and like flip over and oh, I yeah. called the cops. And it's just like, it's just, there's so much sketchy shit when you're a girl. I think when, when you're, you're out and you're driving around in a car like that, you attract all those people who are trying to get a piece of you. And Moses sees it when we're e- eating in the car. Like literally people will be like, roll down your window. Like just, you know, or come up to the car, knock on it. Excuse I'd, me. I don't want a Rolls Royce anymore. It sounds scary in that fucking car, dude. It is. The world scary. is scary in that car. It's scary. Just I drive it here. And I'm getting it. a Prius, bro. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm getting a Prius for my next car. Well, that's why I got the Bentley because I wanted to ask like my everyday. Oh, that's car. your broke ass basic car. <laughs> Bentley's yeah. a nice, an expensive car too, you know. Well, we're gonna get like a Jeep or something, I think. Get a Prius, please. Okay, no, but anyways, I don't know. That's like get a Toyota bad. Corolla or some shit, dude. <laughs> See, no one will bother you. No one will bother you in that car. Yeah, oh, how long we've been going, Dan? Uh, longer than thirty. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the read. Uh, hey, hey guys, guys, it's Adam and oh, together, Adam and Adam and Eve. Eve. Hey guys, the best thing about staying home is playing at home. Do so with Adam. <laughs> You're such a pro. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> with fifty uh, percent off with the code H three, and you know what? That's you, insanely good. You get fifty percent off plus free shipping. But here's something even what my code won't do that. Only the H3 code. This is true. I don't know why my code doesn't do this. Really? You also get 10 free movies, Whoa. six gifts, one for him, one for her, couples. Really? Yeah. What if I just buy like a $5 item? There's no $5 item. Oh, there's all expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. But they have clit eaters. I don't know if you can say that. Clit they, eater? They have a clit eater that is insane. That's how I orgasm today. It what was is very a clit amazing. eater? It literally just gnaws. It feels like it's head on you. It's so crazy. It's like so lifelike. Um, I wish I knew the name. I'm so sorry. But it is on, if you go to clit simulators, you'll see it. It's like a little pink thing with a little mouth on it. It's amazing. Holy shit. Um, they have G-spot hitters. So that's how you're going to do the squirt. And do they have, Can um, I milk my prostate with anything there? They do do have those penises that that they can expand. What if I don't want to put a penis up my ass, but I want to milk my prostate? Do they have something for that? Yeah, they have those suction cups, but it's for your penis. Suction cup. It suctions you out. Oh. I think it's called Clona Willy. It's on Clona, AdamEve.com. Clona Willy. Let's and that go. Is a, that's really a product on there. It's really good. <laughs> Dude, you are like, you know their inventory. I love it. They also have holiday lingerie right now. We had a reindeer G-string for uh, my boyfriend, and he can put your penis in it. I also wore it. Do you Wait, want to you see wear, the, you got a G-string? Do you, yeah, you want to see the rain? Oh, I wore it, too. I have, can't imagine that looks very good on you, Moses. No offense. Moses looks so hot <laughs> in it. Um, do you want me to show you the reindeer G-string, or do we have time? I don't know. Show but, me the, fu- what, of you or of him? Which one would you rather see? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you could show oh, okay, me. Okay, okay, I'll show you. All right, never mind. Um, let me see. I want to. I'll give a the a review of the. You can't show it on. I feel like show I, me. You can't show them, but I'll tell them wait, what why? I'm seeing because it's gra- because it's a graphic bare ass. AdamEve.com slash H3. Okay, fifty percent off. For fifty percent off, code H3. Plus free shipping if you're in the U.S. and Canada. All right, dude. I, I mean, what? You're, since then. you're I can't scrolling find it. and scrolling. I know. It's too hard to find. Anyway. Well, it's there. Adam and Eve has got toys for everybody. It's, uh, what can what can you say about Adam and Eve? Help support support the show. Adam okay, and Eve. Here got- it is. Here, let me see. Okay. There. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. This is so, this is so funny. Okay. Okay. This is like weird. Ignore my face. Here's just the G string. It's for your penis, but I wore it too. Oh, you put your penis in it? That's pretty funny. And then the pasties are also from Adam and Eve. They're edible reindeer pasties, adamandeve.com. This, I put this on Instagram and YouTube, so it's fine. Um, and edible pasties. So it's like a sock. It's like a. You put your penis it's in It's like there. a, what do you call it? It's like a, a, it's like a holster for your penis in the, fi- in the face of a reindeer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So check that out. Adamandeve.com. Use code H3. It's our only sponsor right now. So please We're desperate. Please support the show if you care yeah. about us. And um, yeah, pleasure yourself this holiday season. If you order now, you'll get it before Christmas. It comes in a discreet packaging. It does not say Adam and Eve. It doesn't say sex toys. It comes in a brown package from North Carolina. So it should be discreet. <laughs> so yeah, Adamandeve.com. Use code H3 at checkout. Thank you, guys. You know what I was thinking? We just keep talking. And then if you're available on Wednesday... We can do this as a separate episode, second episode. Do the, the math? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but you have it set up now. Well, we'll just leave it and then refrigerate what we can. Are you sure? Yeah, it'll be awesome. Because I want people to watch that. What do you think about that idea, Dan? It's up to you. Whatever yeah. you guys want. Are you available on Wednesday? Yeah. Great. Are you sure? I feel bad. Everyone's here for no. this. No, it's okay. great. It's fun. People will be happy. They get two episodes this week. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> I never stopped recording, so you oh. keep on going. Do the ad read or no ad read right now? We'll do it afterwards. Okay, okay, okay. So, anyways, do we have more to talk about, though? I mean, that's kind of like a whatever. I have a lot. Oh. Well, let me finish that video, because I want to see how you react. Mm-hmm. Move the car. Yeah, let's go. Oh, why are everyone from Hawaii? Hawaii? No. That is a good question. Why are all these people from Hawaii? Because 20 minutes prior, you hear a guy. I, I left that whole No, but I feel like there. I've heard people say that to me before, too. It's like, I'm from Hawaii. I don't have change for the bus. Can you give? Yeah, it's like, so well, it's how like did Hawaii. you get here from Hawaii, then? Yeah, well, she's leaving. Everything okay, brought me in. If you guys are so worried, how come you're still munching on burgers? It's like one of those things where it's just like, <laughs> I mean, because here's the thing. Like, Nine chances out of ten, like the person maybe wasn't gonna like harm us. So I was like, but it was right away. I'm just like, we gotta get out of here. So yeah. it was just like an awkward thing in general. But we do, we do leave quick. Let me watch this. No, I think she's just. Did like, you tell her no? I didn't. She's not gonna block you in. We might have to just like leave. Yeah, that's okay. I got my like, cheese. Okay. Can you hold the camera? I wish camera? I could eat like you guys. Oh I wish God. I just. Uh, cheese or camera? God, I would be such a mom. Like, I mean, I just, I just wish I could, like, mukbang with you guys all day. I know, but it's really unhealthy because I have I a binge eating disorder, so I just don't eat for the next couple days. Like, it's bad. Like, I you eat like that. You can go a few days without eating? Yeah, I skip meals all the time. I have a binge eating disorder except I don't ever skip. <laughs> so just you binge, just binge, binge, binge. Okay, so this is, a, this is a perfect example. So this was a mukbang where you can see where- Bro, are you, in, are you like, trying to look black? It's just a wig. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> you look no. like you're trying to look Oh, black. my God. Bro, no. you saw that TikTok where the dad, hold on. Do you, is that in the doc where the dad comes in and he goes, yo, is this chick black? Oh, there's a girl. Wait, Have you I, seen that? No. I'll show I it to you. I got to see that. Add Wait, that can to I the show top. you this Yeah, one? show me. Okay. <laughs> so soon. She probably did love that. What is this? What happened? Holy shit. You, you're panicking. Are you in the rolls? Mm -hmm. What the fuck was that? Yeah, my, my one friend texted me. He's like, what the fuck happened? Because like literally right. within seconds, like I'm like. You were quick. Exactly. So like. Wait, what happened? So there was, a, I was in a, I was basically in somebody's driveway and someone parks behind me, like, but blocks me in, you know, sort of thing. Not like they're parking behind me, but I was basically in the red by someone's driveway. So they're mm -hmm. like going to like block me in again to not move. And so me, I see it. I see the car, I'm like watching it, and all of a sudden two guys, one enters out of the driver's side, one of the passengers, and they come on either side oh, of my car. That. So that's when I'm like, oh fuck, I don't wanna hit this person, and that other car was coming. And literally, like this guy that does a drama channel was like, what the fuck happened? Like, I, I, this happens all this time, this happens so much. But um, on the African American note, did you see that this girl, my look alike? Uh, 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 yeah, I saw this. Uh, 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 so okay, so on the black fishing thing, I told you I did 23 and me. Wait, blackfish? Is that what you just said that I was trying to blackfish people? <laughs> I didn't ever the term blackfish. <laughs> okay, well that's the thing people What's say. What's blackfishing? Is like when you they say you're trying to look black. Okay. Oh, are you black? Do you blackfish? People say that, but because I like tan and stuff. But here's the thing: I actually have Moroccan in me. I told you this. I that doesn't make you black. You said you have like three percent. Okay, Moroccan. I think it's like 13. But Mor well, aren't Moroccans mostly like? Yeah, they're, they're African Arabs. American. They're African. Yeah, but they're Arabs. They're not. They're, they're not African. like African. You're one of us, girl. I know. <laughs> but 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 wait wait wait. You're not hearing yourself. They're not, they're not black. You're that doesn't make you black. That there makes you are Arab. There are Moroccans that are are dark. Okay. I'm not black fishing. That is in my DNA. I don't want to make that a big thing because then people. Are okay, like, oh, wait. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Wagon, but watch this clip. If you haven't seen this, you're gonna love it. I know I'm not African American, but I'm just saying. Honestly, you're a blackfish. No, but sometimes I just can't. Watch this. Come here a minute. Come here a minute. Hurry up. You haven't seen this? No. It's the best thing ever. Can you say that again? 
You're recording this? <laughs> is this girl black or white? Oh my god. Why so aggressive? Watch this. Black, <laughs> Mom says. She's white. No, she's black. <laughs> Girl, oh my God. she's black. We got to sound like that. Like Girl, Howard she's black. <laughs> oh, and he says I'm like Howard Stern. Oh, wow, what a compliment to I you. I know, and you're black. But what you a compliment. Hate, you, don't like, you don't like talking about Howard Stern because he, is it because only people I don't you? care. I you're talk like, about, about Howard Stern. I'm a f Stop. This is one of the things that you always obsess about. It's so annoying. You go, you don't want to talk about Howard Stern. I say, I have no problem talking about Howard Stern. I like Howard Stern. It's like every time I got to fucking what answer this. What did he ask me to do be on his show full time, but I had to leave this podcast? Yeah, what would happen if I was elected the president of the United States overnight? <laughs> Howard Stern loves me. I believe what he said was you'd be pretty if you weren't so chubby. <laughs> no, I'm not. How did you know that? Did you know that? Are because you... you've said it like 20 times to me, No, dude. he danced with Man America's Got Talent. I think he thought I was hot. So this, so this family thinks you're black. You've got the black hair. You're black fishing. Just admit I you're black fishing. African -American. You're Arab. You have Arab roots. You're not African American. You're a black fish. What, and then what's your name on TikTok? Trisha, Trisha like Blackfish. <laughs> Just like fish. Um, interesting. Well, you know, here's the thing. Honestly, I should do another DNA test because I really do think I probably have some African American in me. And honestly, I'd be I'd be proud and I'd be honored at that. Why I would it change? Why would it change? I feel like I just never knew because my whole life and I'm not. Why, if you did a DNA test the second time, would it change the origin? It does because I did a 23andMe and then I did like an Ancestry one and it was whole, they were they were different. I think they just described the regions differently. So. Oh, we should do that on together. Well, mine's so boring. It's 99.3 percent Ashkenazi Jew. Ooh, congrats. Thank you. You're like a whole Jew. I'm a whole the whole fucking laka. Wow, mm, those were good. <laughs> this first time having them today was lakas. Um, no, but I really do think so. My whole life, people have hey, always asked bag. me if I was like African American. Oh, here's one. I Here, got one for got, you. Yeah. Yeah. I brought it for you guys. I was in a better mood once I came. <laughs> do you want to? Oh, I want to check. You want me to show me? No, Moses will get mad at me. I always want to show you Gross. my spreading because I'm always so impressed. Wait, you'll get mad if she shows me the squirting? Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? But it's on OnlyFans. I showed Ryland. He didn't care. Wait, wait, wait. Would you be mad at me if I went and watched your squirting videos? <laughs> Interesting. So I can't. What if he pays me five dollars right now? <laughs> no, I don't want. I guess if you, you want. You masturbating? <laughs> oh God, please no. Well, if that's please. your thing. No, is that your thing? Yeah, I love showing people my squirting. I'm so proud of it. Okay, so, so, so Moses doesn't want me to see the squirting. Well, you're technically not fam. I mean, you're not blood related. We're family. He's my brother-in-law. Yeah. Okay. I won't. Would you want to describe it to me? Why no, are you so proud about it? I'm so it? proud because it hit the record button, so it stopped recording, and I was so proud of it. Dude, I don't think I can handle seeing okay, you squirt, to be I honest with I you. I won't, I won't. We have to control the delicate balance of the show. Once I see your ass squirting, then I think that might be the only thing I see when I see you, which isn't good. Okay. And not in a sexual way. I mean, look it's at our ooh way. <laughs> like, damn, fuck, what the fuck kind of way. Also, wanna, can I just say, for the record, I... Go ahead. I <laughs> People think I'm like serious when I'm like, they think I flirt with you. I like, in no way do I find you attractive or want to have sex with you. Like, I just want to make that very, very clear. Like, uh huh. I hate that people think that. I'm like, that's clearly a joke. Well, stop hitting on me every episode. Okay, if then. you were like, because we're you, supposed to be friends. If you look like Noah Beck, I wouldn't be saying that to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's oh, obvious. Oh, so it's an because obvious I'm so joke. disgusting, then it's an obvious joke. Yes. Thank you. Good. Okay, because people you, are like, I respect his marriage. I'm like, ew, I wouldn't. No, I'd rather have sex with Schrader. Shredder. You'd rather fuck my dog? <laughs> That's not better. That's weird, just weirder. If you'd rather fuck legal, Shredder? I would rather fuck a dog. You think then. Shredder could penetrate you? Oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> ew. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did you say my dog? Wasn't there a better example? Because I would literally I'm rather that have bad. sex with anybody. I'm else. that bad? I mean, I don't know, but I just, I like, it's not my thing. Would you Do fuck a dog? No. Oh. No. Well, you said you would. God. I'm just asking questions. You open that, I not me. I feel like people are like, wow, you were so disrespectful to their marriage. I, like, be married forever. Like, I couldn't care less. You don't like, care if we get divorced? Are you? Because you keep bringing that up. Are you guys getting a divorce? No, you, you said I wouldn't. Extreme. You brought it up. You said I wouldn't no. be care if you got, okay, whatever. Here, here's a video of. I wouldn't care if you got a divorce. Do whatever you want. It's your okay. life. Who cares? Stupid. Let's watch this, okay? Mm. 
You definitely want to fuck me, though. <laughs> it's obvious to everybody. No, because it's that's the thing. When someone's so unattractive, you make that joke to be like, wow. Like the first time I met wow, you the Wow, that's so nice. You go, wow, <laughs> I want to fuck you. You're just such an ugly fuck. It makes fuck. me feel better. Like when I first met you, I said, you're what? a 10, you're a 10, because you were constantly So let me get this straight. Me. You flirt with ugly people. Of course, to make them feel but better. But then you also say, you. F- but then you say, I fuck everybody. Who's interested in me? Um, so what you're saying is I flirt with every ugly person, and if they reciprocated, I fuck them. Mm. That doesn't make it. That's either insane or doesn't make any sense. And frankly, I could I could take it either way with you. Oh, take what either way? You being insane or not making sense. I can't wait for Dr. Drew to come back on because he would so not approve week. of you calling me insane. Yeah, well, fucking Dr. Drew can... Give us a personality test and figure it out, which is, is next he, is, week. Is he just going to be on Zoom? He's not coming here? Yeah, I'm Zoom. Oh, I like having people here physically. I wish we could too, but Dr. Drew's out there living his life he in a way. He can't get tested the day before? He's not about it? How could we do it? Could we put a mask on him and just... <laughs> well, we don't, he's probably not even yeah. into it. He's no, busy. He no, he's, he's busy. He's busy. Last time he said he wanted to come in. Yeah, he's busy. You're just saying that. Okay, ready? Dr. is hot. So you made fun of... Oh, really? Would you fuck Dr. Drew? If I was single. How do I know you're not just saying that and giving him a pity? Would you rather fuck Shredder or Dr. Drew? (laughs) Dr. Drew. Okay, just making sure. (laughs) Okay. What about Lassie or Dr. Drew? Lassie is... Dr. Drew, I don't want to fuck a dog. I don't want to fuck a dog. Mr. Ed or Dr. Drew? Well, probably Mr. Ed has a bigger penis. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) He definitely does. All right. Oh my god, wait, so I went home and did all my videos for no reason. We're not even doing this fucking beauty hack thing today. Well, that's sometimes the cookie crumbles the way cookie crumbles. Oh my god, we wasted an hour. No, but everybody gets a double episode. Because yes, last (sighs) month we only did three, so this week we're getting a double episode because it's Christmas. I was so stressed about freaking... Can I show you this video? People, You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I was so stressed. Let's just watch. Let's just... Can I eat a donut while I watch it? Yeah. So yeah, it's it? crazy. Oh, I ate I a whole fuck. I ate a whole bag, dude. It's Hanukkah. Oh, sorry. Look at AB just being like. Oh, nice, nice job, AB. Thank you. Sorry. Um, so Alex and Ray mm-hmm. had this viral video. Pretty funny. But here, let's watch it. And you did a reaction to it. Here we go. Girl, you are not doing this. Please tell me this isn't real. <laughs> they are awkwardly waiting for a photo. <laughs> I'm all for doing these things in public, but like waiting 10 seconds to say hi, people watch awkwardly we dance, making so much money, give me... I, I don't know. Might not have been the move here. Okay. I have a, I have a counter argument. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> you devoured that jelly. Holy fuck. I don't eat pretty. Is that what it's like when she's on her period? That's you (laughs) on her period? Oh, my God. Ew. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm ready. That was a lot. (laughs) See that. I don't eat pretty. That was as bad as watching you squirt. You didn't see it. (laughs) Onlysquirt.com. Onlysquirt.com. Okay, what? What's your counter? She's super famous. She probably gets recognized a lot. So she's like, she's like, hold the fucking on. I got to do my... Don't ask. She's not Brad What's more, Pitt, like putting, you know, years of his life into training for like Benjamin Button. And stuff. She's, she's a probably TikToker. gets stopped all the time. Yeah. So take a picture. But I'm just your, saying she has shit to do. I got to do There was probably someone else who was like, take the photo with me. And she's like, okay, cool. Take a photo with me. Okay, cool. And then they like, take about, was like, hold on, let me do TikTok. Go fucking somewhere else into your mansion that you like to do this. Don't do it do in public. Do you hate puppet. Addison Ray? I don't hate her at all. I don't. Are you mad that she's more famous than you? You know what I don't like? I don't like their, I don't like these TikTokers attitudes. I don't know what it is about TikTokers. I saw her on a podcast and she's like, I'm the first person to be like this popular on social media. I'm like, girl. She like, said that? Yeah. I was like, no. she goes, there was, there's no one to talk about this because this is like the first time like we're blowing up like this. And I was like, it was on the Zane and Heath podcast. If you guys want to go watch it, if you want to believe me, because she literally was just like, just so full of herself. And I was just like, oh, like I hate these people because it's this specifically. Okay, you could say I'm a shitty person or whatever, but if you ask me to take a photo, you best leave. Even if I'm in the middle of eating, which I think is kind of rude, (laughs) I still will put down my burger and I still will be like, okay, yeah, let's take a photo. I've never said, the only time I've said wait is if I'm like crying hysterically. And like one time my my, my, guy I was dating died and that's, and this person came up and I have a picture and I was just like, uh, like, can you just hold on like literally one minute so I can like wipe my face? And I still took a picture with that person. Your boyfriend died? 
Oh yeah, in 2009. Well, I wasn't dating him at the time, but we had. But I was staying at his house when he died. He killed. Oh yeah. shit. Anyways, that's a lot. It's heavy. You've been through a lot. Damn, girl, you are fucking been through everything um what I haven't mean, you been through a lot i mean there's a lot i haven't been through there's so much stuff i hear that's like ter- horrifying to me like you never met an arab until today um i think i did date a muslim at one point oh yeah so you lied about not having but i couldn't met. interview him okay it was just you know <laughs> so anyway you know what really surprised me about this tiktok more than anything <laughs> she does this without any music all in one take like what the fuck is i that? think she might have earphones in like she has earbuds. Yeah. But like she does it in one take. Oh my God. So cringe. Eat it up. <laughs> tip it down. Wrap the head yeah. around it. Raise the roof. Look at this girl. Like what the fuck is happening? It looks so stupid. It's so stupid. Like. I'm more interested in just the candid like aspect of her recording a TikTok dance <laughs> than like her rudely telling people to wait. But she's like at that late. It's like girl. Like, just she was really picture. nice about it. She wasn't like bitch. Sh- do you know who I am? Of course not. But how, like, take a, you don't have to wait. To this is my favorite move, this one. <laughs> I'll eat you up whenever you then, tell me I'm pretty. I like can that do this dance. dance. Okay. Oh, okay. Should we TikTok this? <laughs> I'll eat you up. <laughs> well, you look good. You look skinny today. Thanks. You're Not welcome. after that brittle. Anyway, um, I didn't have, I didn't really have a problem with it. No, and here's the thing. I thought people were giving, been hard on her. I don't think they're being hard on her because these she's really not humble. I think people just need to literally just be humble. Like Jesus, you. Have well, to I don't know anything stuff. about her. You, like I just watched her on this podcast and it just rubbed me wrong because I thought she was like a sweet one, but she would be acting like she's just like the first person to ever get a movie role. She's like, yeah, I got this movie role. I'm an actress. I've been acting my whole life. It's like, bitch, is like chill. She's like, it's just it's just too much. And and here's the thing: do I really care if she's like no? But like, hey, it's a viral video. I commented on it. I'm just trying to get out there too. You know? Yeah. What no. I mean? I'm- Why? These people that go to Boa, oh my God, the people who go to Boa are the cringiest, like James Charles, Dixie, Boa Steakhouse, they go there every night to get paparazzi, it's not open anymore, but they, they go there to get paparazzi and then they ask, act like they don't want to answer questions, like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go into Boa, which is like, it's known to be a paparazzi place, so you go there to get paparazzi and it's Mm -hmm. so cringy. I should start doing that. You think paparazzi would care about me? (laughs) They wouldn't even fucking recognize me. I'd walk all slow. You're interesting because you don't go out. You're someone I, you You think they would ask me? You think they recognize me? I don't. Because, like, I used to go out with Post Malone, and they he would, I would, there's a bunch of pictures of me just standing in the background <laughs> of his photos. I got catfished by Post Malone. Say what? I got catfished by Post Malone. What does that mean? <laughs> like, I didn't know who Post Malone was for the longest time. Oh, somebody catfished you? <laughs> and I was like, oh, this guy with tattoos is into me. And, you know, he's, like, a little chubby. So I thought, you oh, got this is catfished like... by Post Malone? When was this? Um, Tell me it was at least five years ago. Like, a year ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> and... Wait, I'm sorry, but just rewind time. Rewind. Uh, <laughs> because, I mean, I hate to bring this up, but you were giving Moses shit for getting catfished by a famous person. <laughs> and you literally got catfished by Post Malone a year ago. So, <laughs> what the fuck? told me. Post Malone. He's like, yeah, I'm oh, a rapper. Oh, you actually thought it was Post Malone? <laughs> no, I didn't know who Post Malone was. He's like, I'm a rapper. Here's my music. And he would send me. Did you send him a video of you squirting? Uh, I didn't squirt back then, no. Mm, but, not back then. But We've come um, a long way. It was, after my, it was after I was on here, I think, on, on the first time I was on H3. So did you send him, like, news or something? How far did the relationship go? <laughs> um, I... We were like gonna meet up. We like I literally was like at a restaurant multiple times to meet up, and then he never showed up. Oh, he just flaked. <laughs> well, you know he was probably just sitting there watching you. <laughs> oh Dude, you God. got catfished multiple times by Post Malone, and you're fucking criticizing <laughs> Moses. Sorry, girl. And he told me like, yeah, I'm post- my, this is my song, and I, I didn't know who he was. So I was like, oh, that makes sense. He's like a rapper, and he's like, you know what I mean. Like I didn't know, so I didn't seem like a famous person like how talking you, to me. So how did you find out he was not real? Um. Oh, because I came, it was after, I, so I came on the podcast, mm-hmm. and he's like, yeah, those are my friends, so I Googled you guys together, and I yeah. saw that he was on your podcast, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, well, maybe this is, like, legit or something like that, and the reason I kind of found out that it, like, wasn't him is because <laughs> he asked me to, like, Venmo him, and I didn't have Venmo, and then he, he got- asked you to Venmo him? <laughs> God, talk this. about gullible. <laughs> How much did he ask for? I didn't have Venmo at the time. Um, he oh needed, he wanted, he wanted to fly here but like his credit cards had just gotten stolen so he's like can you just can you just like Venmo Bro, me $1,000? you were literally getting catfished by like some Nigerian prince. <laughs> no, I talked to him on the phone like he's he's he sound like yo what up like I don't <laughs> know what like Post Malone sounds like but that's 
<laughs> wow. But he had me. I mean, he, you know, because he didn't look like a famous person to me. And he kind of looked like me. And he's like, everyone says we look alike. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I was like, maybe this makes sense of why look he alike, would. Look alike, Post Malone? Oh, yeah. People tell me I look like Post Malone all the time. Him and Samuel L. Jackson are like the two. And Matthew Lillard. You look like Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, Matthew Lillard, Post Wait, Malone, stop, Samuel L. Jackson. stop, stop, stop. People tell you, you look like an old black man. <laughs> when I was younger, I swear. I swear when I was younger, people made fun of me because they told me I looked like Samuel L. Jackson. There was a movie where he moved into suburbia. I forgot Who told what it was you called. you looked like Samuel L. Jackson? Kids in my school, they literally made fun of me. What is that movie? Oh, he moves into a neighborhood and he like harasses the neighbors. I forgot what it's called, but like everyone's like, they would call me his name in that movie. And it was like popular at the time for some reason. I still can't remember it, but um, yeah. It's mm, odd. So I used to like memorize Pulp Fiction so I could like risk more it. evidence that you're black fishing. Okay, I didn't even tan back we then. We should title this episode Trisha admits to black fishing. Can I but <laughs> can I say this might be might get me canceled again, whatever, but like why is it so wrong to want to look like a black it's, not, it's not blackface. Blackface is mocking people, right? But like I love a darker complexion. Like, why is it so? You I don't know think there's mean? anything wrong with even the wig that I was wearing. Like, I like their tan. hairstyles better. Like, I get the box braids. I get stuff like that. But like stuff that like you said in that the, the video I showed you with the curly hair is like, mm -hmm. are you black fishing? It's like, okay, maybe that's like a style that like African American women will wear. But like, I and truly correct me if I'm wrong. But like, why? Why is it bad? Like, if I want to look like like Beyonce, if I see like an outfit or her hairstyle, like why can I look like that? I think there's nothing wrong with wanting to look like her. Just don't try to, like, make your skin dark like her. Like tanning? You think so tanning? No, tanning's fine, but, like... But that's making your skin but darker. But there's, like... No, yeah, no, tanning's fine, but, like, if you're trying to make your stuff look back black, it's just Like, weird. I hate the way it's I look pale. Odd. Like, you can see, like, I'm tanner in my face than this, and it's, like, there's I... No, there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's just a matter of how far do you take it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm African-American or anything like that. I was just, like... What does that mean, though? When I was a kid, people told me I looked Samuel Jackson, and I wasn't tanning. It's just, like, my you features... sure they fucking with you? No, like there, and I, you know, I was okay with it. I thought he was very handsome, and I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance. Did and you fuck Samuel Jackson, Moses? No. Moses was not fuck Samuel Jackson. What if I was Samuel Jackson? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if Samuel Jackson was Samuel Jackson? What if I was Samuel Jackson? You and any boy. My so oh, thank you. So if my she soul says, was yes. Samuel Jackson, if you yeah. were Samuel Jackson, Moses would fuck him in that case. Yeah, because it's my being, my essence. So anyway, um, here, watch this. I had a really this. bad addiction to tanning, and I know that sounds silly to oh a lot God. of people, but I'm Trisha. I'm <gasps> not trying to start. Oh no! Wait, 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 watch, no! Give me anxiety. Stop! Watch, watch, watch. <gasps> An impulsive, like Logan Paul's, um, podcast where you were talking about how it was bullshit, and you did it for, literally, views. I will show you the clip. Oh yeah, I seen this one. You were on a, a show, right? A show like My Strange Addiction for like for tanning. Oh yeah, but that was bullshit. Like, I wasn't really addicted to tanning. Okay, okay, so show. everything I'm about to say is completely irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I've been addicted, but definitely not to tanning. I just did it to get on the show because it was, like, new. And they're like, we're looking for people with addictions. And I was like, all right. This you? <laughs> um, I had a really bad... So, which is it? Okay, well, I'll, I mean, I can explain it. Why do you lie about <laughs> shit? It wasn't lying. That was a whole disassociation. So, when as soon oh. as I got on, on Impulsive, from the beginning, I realized, like, they were really, like... I don't want to use the word like aggressive, but you could just tell right away they were just not about me. Like they mm. were in defense of everyone. David Dobrik, like Jason, like everything that I was going through that year, because this was months mm. after my breakup, like a couple months, they set it up a game called like hate, like basically saying like, let's hate on these YouTubers. <laughs> and the minute I, they're like, let's hear like your biggest critiques of these people. So I went off, but then they turned it around on me and was like, wow, maybe like, maybe you have some issues. Like, why are you so mad at David? And like all of a sudden it was basically like, they didn't do anything wrong. Like it was that. And so right away I was like on the defense. So that whole time, that whole interview, just like America's Got Talent, just like stuff where it's like, I literally, I- So it wasn't true what I you're saying? Just you're so just- Well, yeah, because, no. oh my God. So was, you did have an addiction to tanning? Of course. Okay, good. I felt fat, tanning made me feel skinny. Like, of course I did. But the problem was, is also that show was really traumatic because they tried to test me for skin cancer on the show. And I actually- What? Yeah, and I walked off the show. If you watch my show- Wait, did you go, have it? that. Um, prior to that, I had skin cancer removed. So I didn't mm. want to get tested because I thought they were trying to get me set up to make me look like I'm an idiot. Because I continued to tanning after I had uh, cancer in my my backside. And so I didn't want, and I don't talk about this either because I just don't like people like like this. Well, this happened and you continue to tan and you did this. So this is a lot. Like, I just hate this shit because I, I don't mind explaining myself. It's just like, I don't always want to be explaining myself because I'm like, she always has to explain herself, whatever. But um, with stuff like the like, really personal, like the tanning addiction, like it's easier for me to be like, it was a joke. I just want like, okay, America's Got Talent. This is a perfect example. It's a little like, more lighthearted. I got buzzed off America's Got Talent. And so my 
instinct kicked in not instinct but like i guess i guess call it disassociation i don't know that word i'm not really sh- so sure about but they all started making fun of me like i realized i was being set up because america's got talent which this is something to talk about too they do this notoriously to people they set up another girl that was a pink impersonator anyways um they set me up to fail basically they told me to do the star spangled banner when i got there they're like oh no you can't do the star spangled banner it's copyright just make something up on the spot what so they put me out there oh. to a beat of music and i they didn't tell me they were putting music so all of a sudden there's a beat and they're like what? fast talk so anyways i was set up for failure from the so beginning. you were you were meant to be the punching bag Yes. But you didn't know that at all. I didn't because at the time I was 21 or something. Did and you so, think that talking fast was a talent that would get you through to the end? Um, No, it wasn't really necessarily that. They just kind of hyped me up like, this is so cool. Like, they're going to love it. Mm. And at 21, I wasn't like a troll or anything yet. So to me, I'm like, oh, yeah. like They now, got you good. Now if I go on a show, I realize like I'm the punching baby. And I'm fine with it now. I think being older and like realizing that's what I am, it's okay. But um, I think at the time, I really did think like, Oh, maybe it's Can we watch that people. clip? Well, okay, here, can I tell you? I was on Ellen for it, and they they hyped me up. Ellen was like, this is awesome. America's Got Talent will claim us for sure. Fuckers. Yeah, for sure. And then I was on a Carl's Jr. commercial for Fast Talking. So, like, you people were? didn't think it was good. How much did you get paid for a Carl's Jr. commercial? Oh, my God, it wasn't much. It was like a talent show thing, the Carl's Jr. Oh. talent show. Well, it was a commercial, but anyways. But my bottom line is I was doing stuff with my Fast Talking, so I thought... I did Guinness World Records, you know. Okay, you, so, yeah, yeah. So in my head, I was like, oh, this is just another show. Mm. I was on Jay Leno for Fast Talking. Like, I was on a oh lot of goodness. stuff. Oh, my goodness. So I was like, oh, this is just another show to go on. And so as soon as they turned against me and, like, Sharon made fun of me and Howie made fun of me. And then Howard was the last one. Then I flipped it right away. Sharon's like, this is awful. This is annoying. And I was just like, oh, well, I'm, and, like, not true at all. I was just like, oh, I'm just here. And I love Howard Stern. Don't get me wrong. But I was like, I'm just here for Howard Stern. But I, they actually asked oh, me to right, be on for Piers Morgan. And so immediately the whole audience flipped. And then Howard Stern's like, well, in that case, let me come up and dance with you. Like, I'll have a date with you in Vegas. Like, all this stuff. So it turned around completely. But it went well, didn't it? In the end, you and made it. Yeah. Of course. Because, and then Howard talked about me on his show. Yeah. Like, all, all, whatever. So. You saved it. I saved it, but like, I don't remember it. When I got off stage, I remember I called my mom and my mom like, how'd it go? I'm like, I honestly couldn't remember for the life of me. And like, even watching it back, I can't because it's so cringy. Cause like, I don't know that person. Like, mm. it's so weird. Like it, I call it blacking out. I guess Dr. Drew will call it disassociating, but like I literally black out. And impulsive mm. was a, a big blackout oh. because they were so, the only podcast I did, I did other podcasts that like went really great before that. I can't even think. H3 what did podcast. I do? <laughs> no, but before that, I was doing. I was doing other podcasts. I can't remember. Like Adam Carolla went really good. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I was doing an H three. Yes, H three show. But um, Thank you. <laughs> and and it was a big deal. I loved being on the H three. I loved the mugs. I wish I could have another H three mug. Mugs. Do you have one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I took both of them from my appearances on there. But anyways, um, so I don't know where all that went. <laughs> do you want to ask me anything? We I'm out of material. Um. You always say, I don't ever get to ask you anything. Because you always dismiss me. You're always like, "Mm, it's not important. Well, because I I, ask me something. Why did you delete all your tweets? Because Twitter's lame, bro. Okay, so why did you delete all of them? Did you have something that came up? Did someone no, say something? No, everybody's oh. already combed through every tweet I've ever made a billion times. Was it racist? What was it? What was your tweets? Which ones? The ones that people... Well, they try to prove that I'm racist. I don't think that... So why did you delete them if you're not? If you're like, okay, that was like, delete I w- the racist tweet. Just treat the one racist tweet. I've, there's 10,000 tweets. I don't think that tweets from a billion years ago represent who I am today. And so I just, I don't want to deal with having to think about what I tweeted or is on my timeline or anything I've said 10 years ago. Twitter is just, it's just, it's such a nightmare. It's like we've willingly put ourselves out there on the internet. And it's all there, and you're not allowed to change or grow, and everybody's just combing through all your old shit, especially as, you know, uh, uh, as Edison Ray says, the biggest <laughs> social media uh, uh, <laughs> uh, phenomenon of our time. That's me. Yes. <laughs> and so people are always trying to, everything you say, they're trying to disprove from all tweet or trying to make sure that you're a hypocrite and all that. It's like, it's stupid. Just I just don't want to deal with it. And also, nobody ever looks at your old tweets for any good reason. Right? Yeah, but it's like a documentation of who you were. Well, fuck it. You don't ever want to look back at old tweets, your first tweet or anything. No. I like to sometimes Google my name, like Trisha Paytas. Like, I'll do this with him, like it, his catfishes. I'll like do Trisha Paytas with the catfish name. And I'll be like, see, I told you that person was a fan of me five years ago. You know what I mean? Because it shows up as our tweets that we tweeted yeah, together. I, I, yeah, that is good, but I don't want to say it. I, I'm over. Social media is just driving me crazy. I hate it, and I'm trying to disconnect from it as much but as possible. But it's like your job. Like promoting Teddy Fresh. Well, being on the video here and making videos is my job, not making tweets. Do you hate the videos? No. 
Do you, so you just hate Twitter? Yeah. So just delete Twitter. How can we even have Twitter at all? I'm slowly going towards that. It's because I do have connect. It's like a really great way that I have with connecting people. And I value a lot of those connections I have where you can reach out to somebody and message them. Like who? Who do you have to message? Just, yeah. Tell me somebody you want to private message on Twitter that you need to keep it for. You just, uh, the other day you messaged Charlie because of the whole... Charlie D'Amelio? No. Charlie Sheen? Oh, Critical. Yeah, Critical. Yeah. Who's critical? Just other. He's another YouTuber. And what did you have to message him? Like, we were in a foot war. He was saying that he had the highest Wiki feet rating, and I was like, "Bitch, no, you fucking don't," because I have the highest Wiki feet. I rating. have a good Wiki feet. Rating. Do you know I'm number one on the whole site? Um, probably because you talk about it. Well, like I feel like if whatever I talked the about reason it. is, I'm number one. And he made a video being like, "I'm number one. I have the highest rating of any YouTuber." And so I was like, "Bitch, this is a foot fucking war, and you're gonna lose." Ooh, can we make a foot video for my OnlyFans? No. Why? You want my feet in your OnlyFans. Yeah. My feet's already on the internet for free. But I want to do Wikifeet.com, a... Ethan Klein's five stars. <laughs> I want to do a collab, though. Like a col foot collab. No, it's not happening. Why? Uh, because it's disgusting, and I don't want to be involved in any kind of pornographic sexual uh, video with you. Well, it's just feet, though. Yeah, but it's sexual for people to jerk nature. off, to. Yeah. So you're over Twitter, but you love this still. You still love it? You still love doing the H3 podcast? I do. I like it a lot. I like it more than I ever did. Okay. I, my thoughts on the one today is you look just over it. Like you don't want to be alone on it. Like you were alone on the podcast day interviewing somebody and you just were like, hey guys, welcome back to the H3 podcast. talking about just... ContraPoints? The last one? Yeah, the one today, yeah. People thought it was really good. People you, thought it was Okay, great. maybe, but you looked miserable. Well, looked I will out. say, first of all, I disagree. I thought that was a great interview, and I really like her. I think she's awesome. That being said, I do have hard time with interviews. I find them to be very challenging. So I pr much prefer the collaborative ones, like with you and with the guys. That, to me, is more fun and less stressful. Anything else? Next. <laughs> I love interviews. Like, I think I thrive at interviews. I wish I could have, maybe I could host the H3 podcast by myself. God, I mean, sure. Who do you want to interview? Um, Crystalia. Done. Where is he? In really? Use that Twitter I, connect. I, I Damn him. You know him. I have his phone number, but I feel bad messaging. I don't know. He's on his own thing. He's on, he's uh, he's in a he's having a hard time for sure. What do you do? Here's a good question. Okay, what do you do when? Okay, like literally, like okay. We'll use Ela. She's unproblematic. Don't get mad at me, Ela. But like, what if she got in like this crazy scandal, right? Like, if she she was at a party just saying the N word, N word, no COVID mask, like all this. You know, what I, mean? I know it's not gonna happen. But like, she messes up big time, right? Or Crystalia, for instance. Okay, let's say she was flirting with seventeen year old Ela or something. You know what I mean? Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, he's you. What if you're flirting with a seventeen year old? Why me? Okay. Dan. What if yeah, you're flirting Dan's with flirting with seventeen year old. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you love this person, right? Like when someone gets in so much deep shit, how do you do you defend them? Do you not defend them? Do you have to denounce them? Look, like you don't. I think if it was someone that was very close to me, let's say like my best friend got into was caught like uh, flirting with a seventeen year old or something, right? Or fucking or fucking a seventeen year old. Like Chris Lee was just what talking a parent allegedly. Well, he was he was he was, he was fucking them. really young fans. Okay, of age. Right. You would you know I would definitely denounce the behavior. But as a friend, you see a lot of redeeming qualities and you want them to get better and you want them to be well. So, like, obviously, that's that's the, the nature of it, right? It's like you denounce the behavior, but you encourage the person to grow and be better and you stand by them. Right. So interesting. I would stand by my Because so many people denounced Crystalia. Well, yeah. Brian Callen, Whitney Cummings, like people that were like that, hardcore. That to me is like, that's, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm friendly like with Chris, but if I was really close with Chris, I don't think, if I was like, you know, that level of closeness, I would probably, what I would say is, um, you know, obviously we did, we talked about it a lot. I mean, what he did was, was really gross. But as a person, you know, as a per, I said, as, as a person, Chris was lovely. He was one, a super nice dude. Right. Super sweet. You know, when Theodore was born, he sent us like a really thoughtful baby gift that not a lot of people did that were that thoughtful. But he just abandoned his podcast, like just left. Like, like what happened? Like, you well, know? Matt, dude, he was in like a huge blockbuster film and they like fucking cut his ass out. Like he's huh. just probably in a really shitty spot. Like, I think it's, that's the most And, like, he's thing. engaged and he's having a baby at the same time. So, right. a lot. No, I, like, my stance always is, like, older guys with younger girls. I think you're, like, the scum of the earth because that's how I got so fucked up. I think it's, like, the grossest thing you could do. Mm. But at the same time, it's like, wow, like, 
it's crazy how f- people just turn. And I saw that with people in my own life too that have like scandal, like how many people just like unfollowing him, like you're disgusting. Meanwhile- Well, there's they- a difference between like, um, you know, Trisha made an insensitive TikTok and like here's uh, here's evidence of, <laughs> of behavior over years of him taking advantage of young girls. I want to interview Crystal, yeah. Okay. Because we have beef. He like blocked me. Like he doesn't like me. I don't like him. Oh, I don't so. think it's gonna happen then. <laughs> I don't think you have any no, no, chance. No, but having said that, I'm like he I feel blocked like, you. Uh huh. What the fuck did you say to Chris? I said, oh, I hate the show, Whitney. It sucks. And he just blocked you? Yeah. Why'd you say that? I didn't even at mention him. He just must have been googling his own name. <laughs> I'm like, Crystal is so unfunny. Wait, wait. So why the fuck would he want to talk to you? He blocked me. Why are you interested in Chris D'Elia then if he hates your guts and you hate him apparently? Because you you tried to call me out before. but for This is no- why I don't block people because when you block someone, I'm just like, whoa, why did I get blocked? Because he hates your ass. I forgot that I tweeted that. Someone brought up that tweet and I was like, oh, okay, that's why I'm blocked. Like I genuinely asked that in a video, like why did Chris D'Elia block me? And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. Mm. Um, Do you like Whitney? I didn't, and but... Not for any reason. I was just like a hater. And then Why? she was really nice about me on her yeah, podcast. Yeah, Whitney's super nice. I know. And then, um, but she interviewed Zane and Heath. And I'm like, oh, that's when you know you're going downhill if you're interviewing Zane and Heath on your podcast. Like, e. Okay. Exactly. Is there anything else interesting? Any to- uh, relevant topics? I feel like we've been all over the place. You know, we were going to do the beauty things. We're going to do them on Wednesday. Oh, I was asked to be on um, Barstool Sports. Don't do it. No. You have exclusivity here. <laughs> do I? Well, who? I with have the no pizza contract. review guy? Dave Portnoy. They emailed me to be on their show. Are you going to shout out our podcast if you go on? Do I go on? You can do it if you want. Can I go on Joe Rogan? How do we, <laughs> Joe Rogan would <laughs> spend a... Wait, who, what? The, the Barstool? Yeah, I mean, it's like number three. What if they try and get me to have like Wait, a podcast Wait, what? There? What do they talk about? It's a sports... Uh, you, what the fuck do you know about sports? I'm supposed sports? to be on it tomorrow. What do you know about sports? What are you going to talk to them about? Oh, I have no idea. They're just like, oh, and I just know that's a big name. Like people talk they about have, Barstool They have sports. several different podcasts, you yeah, know. It's a, it's a whole they're, they're, their they're show. One. Yeah, go and just, Dave just keep show. talking about. Well, that's, that's the main one. Yeah, that's one of, that's like no, he has one with like six. Dude, he has one that's pretty fucking weird, I have to say. With two that's like 16 year old TikTokers. That he's on Called or like that? BFF or something. Wait, what? He hosts it with two 16 year old TikTokers, and I find it really fucking weird. He talks about TikTok drama with little well, kids. I'm not going to be invited on. <laughs> I'm just saying, I find it odd. I don't know. What's the deal with that guy? He, is he Is he good or is he a weirdo? Dave Portney. I don't really know. Oh, it's called, oh, maybe this is it. It's called BFF. Yeah, that's the one with the 16 year old TikTokers. It's super, I'm in my out. opinion, it's really weird and cringy. But it says Dave Porter and Josh Richards. Yeah, he's there's on no, it. There's uh, no teenage one. No, I'll show you. I'll show you. It, maybe you can correct me because every time I see a clip of it, I go, oh, that's fucking weird that he's on, he has a. Is it chicks? She's no, it's, it's one girl and one boy, and they're super young TikTokers. They look like they're 16. Oh, they want to talk about me dominating TikTok in LA to running a media and. Oh, no, that's not. You don't have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you don't have no goddamn media empire. Wait, why did they include compliments to themselves in the email to you? Here, BFF. I do it because I know they're a big name. No one's watching Frenemies. We didn't even get a million on our last one because someone put it up late, Dan. Let's not put it up at 5 o'clock. I'll stay up and edit it tonight. We can get it up early. Okay. Whose fault was who's, it? It was up so okay, late. Okay, wait. Who's Josh Richards? How, no how old is Josh Richards? Because, so here here it is. Here's their latest. I mean, it is popular. It gets a lot of views. Really? Just go and be like, yo, I'm just here to talk about frenemies. Like, y'all can do your thing. Every time they ask you something, just be like, yo, frenemies, <laughs> number one podcast. I don't know who the fuck you guys are. Look at this. This You're going to sit with a bunch of 16-year-olds. Wait, what? Watch. So this is Dave, the pizza review guy. This is the guy. Is he actually 16? He looks like it. Who, how old is he? Look him up. I can't be involved Josh with any minors. It gives me a weird feeling. Josh Richards. And there's another girl who's involved who's like, apparently like a fucking... He's 18 years old. 18. Okay, let's not say 16 if they're 18. I mean, why me. Why is he making a pot? Here's the other girl. How old is this girl? Uh, He's ne- cashing in on the TikTok. But is, don't you find it a little odd that this grown-ass fucking man is making... A podcast with this eighteen-year-old kid and like it's this girl on it, I guess. Who's Nessa Barrett? How old is she? She's old. She dates like little honey, not old, but she's like over eighteen. 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 Why is this? Fu- How old is Dave Portney? Okay, well, it's weird. I want to get to the bottom of this. You're gonna go on the show. We gotta fucking vet him. 
Is he? Why does a 43 year old have a podcast with two 18 year olds? That's f- weird, Dave Portney. He's a little fucking weird. And I'll start beef with Dave with Port with Barstool Sports. I don't give a fuck. Okay, just because of my ad version, I think do you think it's weird? But in general, go like- on. But you have to plug this show more than talk about anything else. <laughs> We're well, I got asked to be on a lot of podcasts since I've been on this podcast. Yeah, I'm a gateway to greatness. That's what I told you. Like. I'm very impressed. What? No, I'm very know. impressed with, um, like, I am impressed that we make money off this. Like, it's crazy because I, like, don't make money off my YouTube, so it's crazy. Well, welcome to the Ted Big Leagues, baby. No, I feel honored to be on here for Thank you. I'm really happy. Well, we're going to do two episodes this week. I think, I think if people have an appetite for a second episode, we could start doing two episodes a week because people really like this fucking whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. People like it. Sometimes I feel bad, though. Like, Why? I don't know. I feel like I kind of like snuck into this situation a little bit. Do you think I have no agency over my life? A little bit because like I started like I thought like dating like the first date with Moses. I was like, oh, this will get me like more airtime on H3 podcast. Oh, it was that calculated? Yeah. But at the beginning. Well, then you fucked up and now you're bought a house <laughs> with this guy. <laughs> Not my fault. But you're the one that got the duped. Time. Yeah, you're the one that got duped. I literally tell him all the time. I'm like, I like like the reason we got back together after that big fight at the catfish. I was like, oh, I had the podcast and I felt like I kind of was because like I started dating him. You know what it I mean? It has nothing. Trust me. Nothing That's, I, I don't do. I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have had the podcast if I wasn't dating Moses. <sighs> That's just. Because when the, when the when so hit, you guys stopped talking to me. When we weren't filming H3 anymore, The Bachelorette, like I never heard from Dude, you guys. Dude, it had nothing to do so with it. So how come I never heard from you guys? And then the next, the first time I hear from I you, was brainstorm- Trish, you want to do a podcast? Know, I was brainstorming who would it be fun to make a podcast with? And I was thinking and thinking and thinking. And I was just thinking like me and you, all the, po- all the podcast episodes we've done have been really, they've done well. People like it. They watch it. And we've always had a good rapport the way we play off each other. So I said, you know, it's so crazy. I think it'll be, it'll, it'll actually work. But I don't think I was in your mind Whatever. as frequently I'll as I I'll never convince you. Just like I'll never convince you that you don't think that I want to fuck you. I can't answer that because I was like, don't disrespect the marriage. You can say, speak honestly, I don't want to fuck you. But you don't believe that. I would rather, do you understand what I'm saying? You've seen these meat grinders where they put in steak and it comes out ground beef. I would rather put my dick in a meat grinder than fuck you. And crank it myself. Do you know yeah, what I'm you're saying? You're overcompensating. Just like you called me a two or a one. It's like, obviously, I'm not a one. Like, you you overcompensate by trying to play it cool. I would literally drag my dick <laughs> through a field of rust and glass. <laughs> if I can be so uh, frank with you. Well, you don't rail people on a couch, so. No. I, I can't imagine you being a thruster. <laughs> no. Maybe when I was 20, 50 pounds lighter, I could thrust. Oh, wait. Do you think it has to do with weight? Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you something about, so. about big guys, though, having sex with big guys? Is they are, when you're on top, it's like being on like like a bouncy pad, like a, like a, like a like trampoline. A, like a water bed? No, like those bouncy balls that you like hold in the middle like that. That's how it feels like when you have someone with a belly. Is that good? Yeah. No, that's a good thing about it. Oh, it's good. But with skinny go, guys, guys, they thrust hard. Like, boom, boom, boom. Which do you prefer? I'm, I mean, obviously skinny. I've always been. But it's, it's just like you. You wouldn't date like a fat girl. I think fat people don't like other fat people. Do you like like when a skinny guy's thrusting? Do you like it? It feels like he's trying to hurt you? It's more of like he's controlling how, how I'm getting it. You oh, know what okay. I mean? I love that because I don't like I'm in control of so much. Do you squirt when you guys have sex? <laughs> you always ask that. But that's like my I job have. on the daily. You like, don't squirt. Do you, how long does it take to to um jelly in my hair. to refill the squirt before you can squirt again? <laughs> I mean, it's like orgasm it's like you know how often can you ejaculate but it's less the second time you squirt of course and how do you know it's not pee you always ask me that. i just because i'm not convinced because it comes out can we get a chemist no can we get uh, dan i peed i want to get a chemist in here i swear to god i want to get a fucking chemist in here he goes down if there's a if there hops up like it goes up i don't care what the fuck's going on that's urine it's clear okay here's what we're gonna do I want my a chemist. Or my, if my first of all, yellow. I'll find one. But if there's a, you'll make it easier on me. If there's a chemist listening, write to Dan. Chemists, <laughs> they're gonna analyze the liquid and see if it's urine. Oh, I see what yeah. Well, urine comes out with your ejaculation. Like urine comes out with everybody. No, it doesn't. It definitely does. Bro, oh, semen is not Drew. urine. Drew, yep. I love right. Dr. Drew. I'm I wanted to ask Dr. Drew Wait, next how week. How are we doing this next week? I thought you were doing those on. Didn't you have the H? Doing it Tuesday. Crew? It's doing it on Tuesday because me and Eli are going away for a birthday to the port to that one place that you guys went to. Oh, you guys are. Yeah. 
Do you know where you're? Oh, we don't have to come in later, but it's so nice. Yeah, yeah. it looks beautiful. But like, you're I want to be hungry. You're gonna lose weight. These their portions are like this big there. Well, I want to. Um, I want to analyze the fluid because I think it's funnier. So do I so have to squirt for him? You have to squirt. Well, he's not a chemist. For Dr. Drew? No, don't. <laughs> I want you to bring me a vial of your, I want you to bring me a vial of your squirt and I'm going to have it analyzed in a lab. I bet you would. No, I'm not fucking. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't want to interrupt. I'm going to make Dan or some or Ian or someone. for the show, but. Well, just put it in a paper bag and so nobody has to deal with it. Okay. Yeah, no, seriously. Next time you're here, bring me a, a vial of squirt. How do I catch it? Because it kind of projectiles. <laughs> you have to like catch it. Do an OnlyFans. People like it squirting into a vial. No, but you don't because it comes. Would up. you sell your squirt, gamer girl squirt? <laughs> I'm allowed to. I don't know. Who says you can't? It's America. You can walk around without a mask. You can squirt in this vial. Then you get COVID, and you die. From squirt. I wonder if you could catch COVID from squirt. I don't know. Probably. Wait. So. Back to the Tuesday thing. So we're we're filming Tuesday, but is it you said you did it with everyone on H three? We so, haven't filmed it yet. Okay, so on front of me, are you doing yours here too, or am I just doing? Are we we're all going to get together next Tuesday. The H three people are coming here. Yeah. No, we're just on Zoom. Oh, just on Zoom. So Zoom. What's so hard to believe about it? I don't think those two should cross. Well, it is what it is. They already took the personality test. I just don't want our show to start tanking. You know. Oh, these guys are losers? Okay, we can exclude them. Because they don't get a million views. So who's, who's allowed? Moses, Hila, Dan, Dan, and me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we'll, t- we'll do the loser episode later in the week. As you said. The under 500,000 episode, we'll call it. It's not under five. It's I mean, you don't have five. to be rude. There's only like 400,000. I checked it this morning. You're such a freak how like you're obsessed over this. I am. I was so mad we didn't get a million views. Okay, you want to. a million views. Here. By the way, our apps get like 464. Well, this is only a week ago, but like 640. Mm. Mm. Well, just don't add like I'm not an asset to this show. Like I, kn- I'm an asset to the show. Our I know. show gets over a million. Yeah, you're an asset. Oh, I guess I was being the rude one because I was saying they were like losers, and I didn't want them taking our show. So I guess like I was. Lucia in your eye. In it? Yeah, bro. Do this. Oh my god, that what looks crazy. It? You have like blue chalk in your eye hole. Really? Fuck. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know why. It's from your eye. What I'm you- sorry for being rude. I apologize to the people on H3. I don't necessarily like Zach, but everyone else is fine. Thank you. Oh, yeah, AB. I like you, and I like the other one that All got right. COVID. So, so we failed. I don't like these episodes where we just meander. I feel like I like when we have a when we have an agenda and we stick to it. But I feel like I came back to do this fucking face shit that you wanted to do. But the good news is we'll do a second episode tomorrow or on Wednesday. I mean, Wednesday. What time? <laughs> the usual time. Yeah, the usual time. Yeah. Oh, mm, why? I am up all night. Why? What does that mean? <laughs> no, Moses just, said there you're up all night. Nah, don't mention it. Don't mention it, please. Okay, thank you. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna be jackhammering you? It's my ovulation week. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is actually actually it's my Is ovulation. that what you mean? No, that's not what he meant, but don't say anything more, just stop. Will you tell me off camera? No, <laughs> no, no, Is it I sexual? Said, don't bring it up. I'm not gonna talk about it like it's not sexual though. It's fine, it's fine. I, I will Wednesday? be here Wednesday. <laughs> I gotta investigate. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Alright, we gotta wrap it oh my up. Eli's coming home, I gotta go. Yeah, you better get out of here. Oh shit, it's five? <laughs> I Holy fuck, I gotta go get my son. I left today. I, I walked out. Wait, wait, we have to do the ad. Aww. It'll be so fast. Holy shit, it's five. Bye! Woohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohooho